Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm, of course, your host, Mega Mike the Movie Man. We got a super fun stream planned for you all tonight. We are talking raunchy comedy recommendations. So we're going to go through five rounds, recommend you an awesome comedy title. Definitely going to share your thoughts in the comments, of course, on that. We'll have some honorable mentions at the end as well. And we're just going to have a fun time talking the movies tonight. So before I bring out this amazing panel that knows their raunchy comedies, let me go ahead and put up this banner for you all just to remind you, if you love movies, go ahead and uh, spank that like and subscribe to help support the channel. If you would like your comment read live, go ahead and support the community through some super chats. And then if you would like to choose some future live stream topics, Maybe there's a genre you absolutely love. Consider some memberships. There's some great perks in there. So yeah, definitely have fun checking those out. But let's go ahead and bring out some panel members tonight. Let's start off with somebody I know that gets super raunchy out there. Let's have Nate. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been associated with super raunchy, but I don't, I don't know. Nate, it. Is nasty Nate coming out tonight? Oh, That's nasty Nate. Um, maybe. 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 I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad I'm glad that I actually get to talk about movies that for sure are comedies, unlike last time where I had to not fudge, but you know. Yeah, what was it? A so shark fun. movie. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm very excited. Thank you for having me uh, again. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for being here. And then, of course, we got to have Excelsior. Hello, How are you out there, Steve? <laughs> Hello. I got a stack of movies right here. I'm going to Oh, well, there movies. you go. A lot of classics. So, so I hope everybody else has like the 2000s movies, right? Because I'm not really touching a lot of those movies, <laughs> which I like a lot of those movies too. But I, I, the stuff that really left an impression on me since I was a kid, that's the ones that I have. <laughs> the ones See, that really damaged my brain. <laughs> I'm excited really for quiet. your file because I'm like, yeah, most of mine are modern movies. So I love you bringing the classics tonight. That's going to be some great Thanks. recommendations. Got yeah. a good mix. We got to got to mix it up. There's a lot of good decades and a lot of a lot of great uh, raunchy horror, uh, you know, comedy out there that we got to. I'm like raunchy about. horror. Okay, uh, horror. 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 You're trying to, you try to get the horror fans to watch this stream. Right. I like that strategy, Steve. Yes, we'll have some horror raunchy <laughs> comedies as well. <laughs> hey, there's some out there, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of mixing it up, somebody that hasn't been on the channel in a little while, but I know that loves this genre. We gotta have Tiana loves movies. How are we doing, Tiana? Hi, everyone. I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Oh, I'm doing Great. good. And That's thanks for good. being here tonight. I had to. I had to set this stream up when I saw all your posts on Instagram. You were shouting <laughs> out these raunchy comedies. And what was that all about? Were you doing a raunchy comedy like marathon month? Like what was yeah. happening with that? Yeah, so it was just like a brunchy comedy, like whole marathon month, and it was just fun. I mean, you can wear yourself out with raunchy comedies. I'm just saying, <laughs> it got to the point. <laughs> yeah, you were posting some choices. I'm like, I've never even heard of these, but I want to check them out. Now. <laughs> You went deep, so that's Dude, awesome. always. I like the re, the little post, and she'd put like the little eggplant emoji at the end of the, <laughs> <laughs> of, the of the little review or something like that was funny. Always, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, eggplant emoji. Can I post that as a family friendly? Huh? It's, a vegetable. it's a vegetable, you know. People are gonna interpret it how they want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, yeah, this is gonna be a fun stream. Uh, let's check into the comments. I know we're going to have another panel member join us a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, let's check in the comments. We got 35 comments already. Hopefully <laughs> that means 35 likes, right? People, you got to like the video out there. Uh, but let's see who is joining us uh, tonight. We got Collector Movie Man. Hello, Collector Movie Man. Hello. We got what's Johnny watching? Well, what is Johnny watching tonight? That's the question. Us. <laughs> <laughs> you got Adrian out there. Uh, we got Steve. Steve's everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Same with Tiana. You guys are just everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got Caveman. Hey there, everyone. Please hit that like button. Yes, just, just hit it a little, just a little tap. That's all you got to do on that. <laughs> uh, we got Hux Pop Culture Cafe fellow Collector Club member saying, hey, Mike, you're almost at 2K subs. Congrats. <laughs> almost, almost. I'm like 49 <laughs> away. Wow. So we got to get the subs there. Uh, tonight can we do it tonight people that would be amazing you know hey if you love this content share it out to people if you know they love comedy send it their way 
All right, let's see. We got, oh yeah, I think that's everybody there just saying hello back and forth to each other. Oh, we got got Uncle Tony in the chat, of course. Basement yeah. Booth. How you doing out there, Tony? Hey, Tony. Uh, we got Jacqueline Ahor. Hello, my darlings. Can't wait for the stream tonight. Good evening, panel. Hi, Good Chris. Evening. <laughs> got Movie Hunter 2020. Evening, everyone. Hello. Oh, Wilkie's Movies and Music. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yes. John Doe Gigolo. How are you doing? Man, such a great panel. My mom is even here for the comedy. <laughs> comedies. That's how you know this is going to be a great stream. You know. Does she like raunchy comedies? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I take her to see that I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this was a good idea. Uh, Drive Away Dolls. Anybody seen that? Oof. Yeah, no, I saw it. Yet. That's yeah, a weird that's movie to watch with your mom. The movie <laughs> to, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> go with your mom to the theater, and like the theater was completely empty. It, it was a little awkward. awkward. That's you know? awkward. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was going to be something different. I, I didn't know it was going to get that raunchy. But not the Coen Brothers, is it? <laughs> right from the jump, too. Like right in the opening scenes, it was like... <laughs> and it kept going. It was yeah. very consistent. I'm like, oh my god, mm -hmm. it could have been worse though. I could have, you know. Taking her to see poor things. That would have been even yeah. another one. Oh it could have been wow. worse. It definitely could have been worse. So <laughs> all right. Well, hey, you know what? We got another mystery guest right here. Uh -oh. Who is hey. this man? <laughs> How are you doing out there, man? What's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, How you doing? Back to be late. You got the nice beard rocking it. Thank you. It's probably a mess. I was like changing real quick right after. Is that a demolition man <laughs> shirt? I love it. It is a demolition man shirt. Oh, my oh God. wow! Oh, I love it. Nice. Some demolition man gear here. Ooh. I love that too. <laughs> and I would ask if you're ready, dude. But when I asked that in the chat, you were like, "I was born ready for we're ready." This. Like, I, I was born ready, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into. Our first raunchy movie recommendation. How about we do that? So, uh, Nate, take it away. All right. You know how this, I know how this show works. I've been here enough times. You got to make sure you get the ones you want in early. So yeah. That way, no one takes it from you. Now, mm -hmm. this is a classic. I'm going to start off with a classic. There's no reason to beat around the bush. I feel like we should start off strong. No. This is seminal. This is, a, I don't mean it in a, you know, seminal, not a different kind of word, uh, to my childhood. 12 years old when this came out probably shouldn't have seen it then probably should have seen it then because i'm gonna go with american pie now this is a four pack obviously but yeah american pie and and you know what mike you could take two you could take <laughs> wedding reunion they're all raunchy i actually love all four of them mm -hmm. um but i'm gonna go with the original it's such a classic 1999 one of the best years of movies and even with for raunchy comedy like uh the cast is great. The the premise is great. This is a classic, so almost like an 80s setup, you know, kids trying to lose their virginity. But this was like the late 90s version of an 80s teen sex comedy. And it's still hilarious. I think it still holds up. It's a little dated with like the but it, but they even have the internet stuff, like with Nadia on the webcam and all that. Like mm -hmm. they were a little bit, you know, they were ahead of the curve a little bit. So American Pie, that's gonna be my first one. I just want to say all my picks are not acceptable today. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they would none of them would be made today. That's the best kind of movie. Yeah. Man, Nate, you picked my number one choice. It was top of my pile. It was uh, ready hey, to two, go. Part, big part two. That one's good too. You know what? I'll just talk about all of them too right now. If you might as well, we'll just celebrate the franchise because you're right. I love all of these movies. Mm -hmm. To me, they're all really good to great. I mean, the first one, masterpiece. But such a relatable story. Like, they made these high schoolers so relatable. It's like you could just plug yourself into that kind of story. Right. And oh, such fun shenanigans. Oh, talk about an amazing soundtrack as well. Mm -hmm. That music. Oh, yeah. So good in that movie. <laughs> oh, Stifler's Steph mom. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know. Stifler's mom, that's right. It just brought us so many things. Like, I didn't even know if the concept of MILF existed before this. You know, it's like, oh, gosh, Stifler. I mean, mom. if they didn't invent it, they blew it up. Like, oh, they yeah. made it a commonplace, you know, thing. Right. So, 100%. <laughs> oh, and then Jim's dad. Oh, he's the, he's so the greatest good. dad in film history. Absolutely. Oh, the judgment-free dad who loves his son. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> one of the best dads in, in movie history. I agree. You know what's crazy? I feel like that's him in real life, too. Like, I just feel like that's him. And I want to call him Jim's dad for the rest of my life. <laughs> Eugene Levy's not his name. It's Jim's dad. Yeah. yeah. Man, the pie. He's like, well, just tell her we ate it all. We ate it all. We ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, American Pie is one of my favorites. Uh, I remember my grandma rented the first one on VHS. And we, we all watched it as a family. She loved it. So she took us to go see the second one. And she was nice. she was laughing harder than anybody in the audience. <laughs> like 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 the whole uh, masturbation scene. And then they cut to Jim with the diaper on. She yes. was crying. Oh my she God. was louder than anyone in the theater just crying. <laughs> so so like now in like a raunchy comedy, when they do make them, I, I try to take her to go see them because she loves them. They just don't make them anymore. That's the best. Man. It's rare. One yeah. every year, maybe. Yeah. And, not and they're not the same. Them. Yeah, they're not really pushing bound. Yeah. They don't, they don't want to upset anybody. Yeah. What a cool grandma, though. I remember my <laughs> grandma when we rented... From Blockbuster, American Pie 2, and American Wedding. She was not happy with it. Was, what, what oh, is also, I want to say, too, whenever you see, this is this is a classic of the of the 2000s as well, the classic unrated, when you got the little unrated, yeah. and it's literally like maybe two minutes longer, and there's yeah. one extra joke and like an extra boob, but you know, <laughs> you had to buy it. When I was started getting into collecting movies, if I saw something said unrated, I was mm-hmm. buying it. Every yeah. time, for better or worse, mostly for worse, but <laughs> sometimes for better. Um, so a few of these are, but all of mine are rated R. I mean, I just can't imagine there being a PG 13 that's raunchy enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. not for me. Yeah. And I think they did a good job with the unrated editions, like it's noticeable. In American Pie One, they completely change up that pie scene. I mean, yeah, that pie- <laughs> it's a little more gratuitous, you know, yeah, <laughs> and the American know. Wedding, too. They definitely, um. That's you know, the best one. Oh, I, <laughs> I think that one got more period. extended than the other one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, American extended. Wedding's my favorite out of the four. I I mine too. Oh, Two is my favorite. <laughs> See, everyone oh, has a different favorite, and they're all so great. good. <laughs> yeah, I like the original well, like one. The fourth one too, the reunion. Yeah, like, that's good even too. though it's not like same level as the other ones, in my opinion, it's still really good. And coming back, what, like ten years? Yeah, something, but something about seeing them older. And then dealing with younger people is, is still funny. You it's know what fun. I mean? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Such good movies. Takes me, you know, down memory lane with that. Yeah. Good choice, Nate. You did yeah, so good you. on the first one. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's seen that out there. Audience, have you seen the American Pie movies? If you haven't, what are you doing? That's like quintessential. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leave the stream and go watch it right now. Yes. Yeah, come back to my TV. <laughs> Wait for later. Put it in the background. Put it in the background. No, watch it as soon as the stream is over because that is yeah. one of the greatest. Oh, so good. All right, Steve. What do you Yeah, have? I agree that I agree that raunchy comedies should be R rated, except I do have one probably honorable mention that I'll uh, that, that's a PG 13, which is kind of surprising. But but yeah. I, you know, the first one I, I have is uh, technically it's 1982, right? So I'm older. This movie, I was like nine in 1982, so it's like this. This movie definitely left an impression on me, but it's from uh, Bob Clark. It's Porky's, the original Aww. Porky's. I watched that. Probably didn't take dudes. Dude's movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just look That's at that shower. What is that? Right there. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it a, movie. I think it's filmed in Canada, I believe. And uh, yeah, Bob Clark. If you know uh, Black Christmas and obviously the Christmas Story, you know, <laughs> this movie's definitely different from those movies. I think he did. I think he did the first two. Did he direct the third one? I don't know. Um, sure. I think he directed the first two, but yeah, this movie's <laughs> definitely wrong in a lot of ways. But the the, the shower scene, everybody knows the shower scene. <laughs> guy, the, guy, the the lady's gonna make the guy pay in the movie, and, and yeah, this movie is a it, it's it's kind of like softcore porn in some ways. <laughs> Maybe it's always the subject matter, you know. But uh, yeah, this is a one of the classics. Uh, they've made like Porky's Revenge and Porky's Por- Porky's Two the next day. And um, yeah, they, they, this is a classic one. I hadn't seen this in a long time, but before I bought it on Blu-ray like last year or a couple years ago. And uh, yeah, Bob Clark did do the did do the second one as well. So and it's too bad that he you know he he passed away uh, you know too, way too early. But the, he did at least three classic movies, and maybe Porky's Two was really great too. So yeah, he Porky's had, is my number one. Passed away. The first one I'm going to talk about tonight. Car accident, right? What's that? Yeah, it was a car accident. He and his son died, died in the car accident. Too. Yeah. Sadly, yeah, in in L.A., I think somewhere, mm-hmm. else. yeah, yeah, because I think he actually wanted to work. He was getting to start to work on a on a, a Black Christmas too. Oh wow, <laughs> wow! 
Yeah, because if you ever watch, like, there's like a Black Christmas, the the, the Black X Christmas, the special features. He's on set the whole time, so he just right. like, you can tell he's having a great time, and he he was getting that back again. He's like, okay, I definitely want to do a uh, a second one, so I'm gonna get started on that. And then he passed away a year a year later. Yeah, I think he he proved that. Yeah, the the remake or whatever it was that that, that one Xmas. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't do the third one though. He didn't do the third Porky's. <laughs> he did us to the first two for some reason. But yeah. What a great choice, though, man! Another <laughs> one out of the box. I you, the eighties, <laughs> man. Oh, put that so one away. Funny yeah. moments in there, though. Ball buster. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> the oh, the yeah. whole investigation, right? Whole investigation. That's the funniest part. Is she's like trying to get. Um, yeah, she's amazing. She's, she's so like, I need, I need to check. It. I need to look at these things, and then the people are in the background just laughing <laughs> as she explains. <laughs> Uh, I love uh, Kim Cattrall too. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, she was amazing back then. She's, she's still kind of amazing now, but what, she was really was amazing that, back was then. Was that the Howler? Who was that one? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, she was Lassie. <laughs> Why do they call her Lassie? <laughs> they find out. <laughs> you, you find out. You. Find yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. The shower scene was the best, and like that was my first time watching it, so like I didn't even know what was going to happen. I was like, what's happening? What is this lady doing? <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, good choice. Man, you guys are hitting it out of the park already. All right, Tiana. Are you going to start right. with your favorite? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <All> right. <laughs> Brave move. I want to see if someone else picks it. It is my favorite. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go with role models. Yeah. Okay. Yes, <laughs> this is one of my uh, this is one of my boyfriend's favorites, and it's just so fun. <laughs> yeah. White, yeah. <laughs> if, if you if, if, if you white, you Ben Affleck. That's, I yeah. say that I say that probably daily. <laughs> Taste the beast. That's the best. That's <laughs> Stifler with the uh, not. I always call him Stifler. Stifler. <laughs> You'll be <laughs> Stifler from. He's Stifler to me. He's when they with the energy everywhere. drink. Yeah, and it's just like taste the beast. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen that one in the longest time, though. I need to get that more. They go, they go LARPing. So that's incredible. Oh, it's the best LARPing scenes I've ever seen in a movie, yeah. though. Like a oh, little kid is dressed like kit. They're like dressed like kiss. It's great. <laughs> Oh man! Spoiler! Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's one of the best scenes of that ending to the movie. <laughs> it's okay. It's not no spoiler. This is not movie. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Do raunchy comedies have much spoilers? I've never thought of. Yeah, the what can you really? Movie. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't spoiled. But <laughs> anything funny? Spoiler: He 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 does the pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. What are you thinking? All right. So a lot of my most of my picks are all like in a certain time frame, like the early two thousands. Okay. And I got to go with one that is super offensive. That's boat trip. Oh, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> it, you, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. I'm sure yeah. they burned all the copies because this is <laughs> <laughs> not accept. This is not acceptable now. But it gives me a good gut laugh. Like I saw this in theaters. It's uh, you know, basically these uh what's his name is getting over Green a Junior. breakup. Yeah, Cuba yeah. Gooding Jr. is trying to get over a breakup and he can't get over his girlfriend. So him and his buddy Horatio Sands are like, Hey, let's go on a singles cruise. But they I mess with Will Ferrell, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. putting it up. So they put him on a gay cruise. Yep. So <laughs> it's just these two straight guys, they have no idea they're on a gay cruise and then uh you know Cuba Gooding Jr. pretends he's gay to because he's in love or he's falling in love with this other girl. It's 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 very <laughs> oh funny, very, very offensive. It's it's Rosalind, awesome San, Rosalind Sanchez is, <laughs> yeah. the, is the girl, and he has to like she's doing all this stuff and they go dancing, she looks like super sexy, and he has to like pretend he's gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. And of course, there it is, yeah. the unrated. <laughs> <version. laughs> from yeah, 2002. I've, I've never never seen that. Horatio Sands was on SNL for yeah, no more for that. Yeah, it looks like a good time. Just from the I cover. bought that on DVD when I was in high school. Yeah, I know it for wow. a fact. I had that. I don't. I don't know where it is, but I had it. I I say if you guys find it out in the wild, I would grab it because that's not coming to to Blu-ray. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be on 4K. No 4K. Uh, still you know, I'm sure the LGBTQ is would boycott. Like it's it's really offensive. It really is. Yeah. That's why sometimes I don't like bringing it up because it is super offensive. 
but man, I find it funny. <laughs> Has Roger Moore's in it too. James he Bond. Is, yeah, Roger Moore, James <laughs> Bond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vivica A. Fox as well. Yeah. It's got a good cast. It's not not funny. It's funny. It's, uh, you know, to dude's point, they're probably literally out. The, who? What studio is that? They're probably out right now going to like all the used movie stores and taking them mm-hmm. off the shelves. It says finding them. Artisan. Artisan. Movie, but yeah. it's Artisan. Art- oh, I don't even, I don't, they ain't doing it. Someone else is doing it. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember liking that movie. too. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember laughing a lot. Yeah. So Richard Roundtree's in it too. Shaft, he's, in, he's in Shaft, it. James Bond. Wow. Yeah. Cuba Gunn Jr. Man, there's a lot of good stuff. It's just, it's just so funny. Like, I don't know why I love, like, so there's a scene where, where the one guy can't handle it. So he comes out the window and it slaps this other guy in the face. He's like, You should buy me dinner first. And I don't know why that always lasts. <laughs> it always cracks me up. Like, there's some guy in the deck and the cum slaps him in the face. And he's like, oh, Buy me dinner first. <laughs> He wasn't that mad about it. Yeah, he just wanted dinner first. <laughs> Man, great choice. All right, next up, we will go with one I just watched again last night. Wedding Crasher. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, this one. It's one and it's not movies. unrated, it's uncorked. uncorked. Oh, yeah, right. that's even oh, better. Oh, it's funny on that. <laughs> oh, man. But Wedding Crashers is so good. Oh, just the opening scenes, when you get mm-hmm. the music, the shout music at the weddings when they're crashing, yeah. it just yeah. like, pumps you up for some reason. You're like, Will Ferrell. Yeah. <laughs> Will Ferrell and the, yeah. the, the, the idol and whatever. Will Ferrell. And yeah. All the the oh, Will Ferrell. Oh, oh, like, love. Yeah. We want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Bradley yeah, Cooper, like right. before he, he was anybody at the time, you know, yeah, you know, put up the, the, the in that movie. boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Rachel McAdams, a doll oh, in that movie. Right. Mm-hmm. That's a good movie because even though it's raunchy, it also has like a good some story. Good, yeah. yeah there's oh, some the good character yeah. development. Yeah, yeah. And Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn, they're very likable. The it's chemistry cool. is so good. I yeah. think this is like Vince Vaughn's best performance. He is so good in this movie. Is hilarious. Yeah. It, yeah. Fisher, amazing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah. there's a quote in that movie in the in the first scene with uh, uh, Rebecca De, De Mo- De from uh, Hand the Rocks to Cradle. She's like, you, you shut your mouth and you talk to me. Like, I always say that. <laughs> That's, That's another, oh another, another, another thing I say every day. <laughs> I yeah. used to quote that all the time when mm-hmm. uh, Stage 5 Clinger used to yes, call people Stage 5 Clinger. <laughs> or, when, or Jane Seymour is just like, kid, kid. Yeah, kitty cat. Yeah, yeah, call me, yeah, yeah, call me wow. cat. Call me kitty cat. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, the painting too. Yeah, and he's like, I'm keeping that. That was yeah, a gift. That was a gift. <laughs> but you yes. see him walking out with the painting. He's just holding it as they're walking oh. away in shame. And the weird brother. Isn't there like the, yeah, uh, the creepy brother? Weird brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play tummy sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the grandpa in there too or is that the priest i think it's the priest right isn't it's he the in uh, luck of the irish i, I don't know but there, but it's the grandma like the the uh homophobic grandma oh, remember <laughs> yeah the, he's talking about, i think he's talking about the old guy when they're all talking he's like at the dinner or the breakfast and he keeps yeah. trying to eat and they just keep doing this wild yeah. stuff <laughs> yeah i remember that yeah that's good that's a good movie I uh growing up I had the poster on my wall and it was like all it was the list of all the rules. Oh, oh man, you That's know what? Cool. Have they come out with like a, a prop book on that? Like a collective no. book where it has all the rules. No, so they cool. should have. They, they should have back there. There was a lot of rules. They got the like a hundred and something in that yeah. to release a wedding crashers book. Mm-hmm. They got into it. <laughs> or that poster again. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so good. Ah, uh, Larry. Let, let's check into the comments. We got a lot more people joining in. So if you're just joining in, once again, go ahead and uh, spank that like, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what a great bunch of people in here. We got Craig joining in, saying hello to Johnny. Uh, we got JoJo Joker. Y'all wildin'. We got Fish in here. Fish is saying hello. Hello, Fish. Hello. Uh, we got Mirha. How you doing, Mirha? Awesome. This is a great turnout tonight. I got to say, amazing audience out there. Awesome. All right. Let's get into now our oh. second raunchy okay. movie recommendation. 
Oh, yeah. Nate already assumed he was going to go for second again. On the <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 we're changing the order. Take it yeah, up. No, go My bad. Go for it. I know you, always, I, you usually go in the same order. Every yeah. Time. <laughs> I'm just not so sure you go, Nate. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what other one can you take out my pile? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this one probably. Uh, okay, this is another one. Uh, same way American Pie came out at just the perfect time. This one for me came out just, I think I was 20 or 21 when this came out. So, same deal. Uh, a movie that is like near and dear to my heart, still funny to this day. I'm gonna go super bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> see, Tiana, that's what happens when you don't do the first. Know, okay? Oh, this is your favorite one? Is this your favorite it one? It is, yeah. Well, I'm glad. Then we're going to... Okay, well, I'll let you talk about it more, but it's hilarious. <laughs> Every, everyone is like... Uh, Emma Stone, this is like kind of launched her, kind of her big debut. Make mm-hmm. love in. Everything he does is funny. The vest, the part with the vest, and they say he looks like Aladdin <laughs> and all that kind of... Even the little jokes are great. Michael Sarah, pitch perfect in this as like the straight man. Uh, Bill Hader and Seth Rogen as the cops hilarious the best. <laughs> yeah like I, there's not a single thing that i could think that is like r- bad about this movie like i absolutely love it i still laugh um i love when they go to the party and michael Cyrus has to sing in the room like he, they're making him yeah. sing that song These eyes, they're crying. <laughs> it's so funny uh yeah a, a classic i love this movie but i'll let you t- i'll let you take over it's your favorite. <laughs> all right so it is my favorite movie of all time <laughs> well, <laughs> like, that is still serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, the best part that I love in the movie is when they're uh, when um, oh, when Jonah Hill is dancing with the one girl, and I'm like, how does this happen? Like, how yeah. does she on his leg? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> yeah, but it's so, so funny. Gross, but yeah. so funny. <laughs> But yeah, no, that movie, like, when I was growing up, it was, like, my favorite. I used to watch it all the time. It's just amazing. And this is where I fell in love with Seth Rogen. Because, like, that was the best thing I'd ever seen of him then. And then I branched out to more of his movies. Yeah, and I think, too, like, um, I do make a good point as far as the time range. I feel like, to me, the premium raunchy stuff was, like, 1999 to like 2012 just for some reason like that in that space was so much a lot of the apatow stuff obviously um but uh yeah super bad and i don't i think it was on the special features they had the thing where they had to shoot the whole movie twice and they did it once for the tv where they like changed all the words so they didn't have to yeah. edit it for TV. Yeah. that was hilarious too like they take out all the curse words change all the dialogue so i mean they worked hard on it and uh it's That's great so i love that movie if no one's seen it, they need to watch it after oh, really? the stream. It is I, so funny. Yeah, I feel like raunchy comedies they they get at these peak, like, and then they kind of go away, and then something comes out. And I feel like Superbad was something that came out to like give it that adrenaline, mm-hmm. and like that came out, and then uh, it was like the one-two punch of that, and that was starting to kind of fade, and then you got the Hangover come out, and then it just yeah. went up, and now we're just we're just waiting for that one film you know that one movie to really go out there and do it but uh-huh. we just haven't seen it yet no or nobody nobody really they've tried what well, was that what was last year the jennifer lawrence one no yeah. strings no attached or the one with yeah. the oh no, no hard feelings. Feelings. Yeah. The one with the dogs yeah. what was the one with the do- strays oh, yeah. Stray. Stray. Yeah. Yeah. Stray's was terrible but they just didn't hit, <laughs> i heard it was you know? great i didn't see it yeah <laughs> The Strays is an interesting one. It's one I was laughing a lot throughout. Yeah. At the end of it, I'm like, uh, you hated it. I think I like that. <laughs> like, I it had me laughing, but I'm like, there's something wrong here. I don't know what it is. I just couldn't get into it. It was like dogs. I'm like, I don't. This is, I don't know. I, I didn't love it, but they didn't hit for me. Um. So yeah, I agree though. I yeah. Agree with it's that. no super bad. I mean, come on, everybody low. has to see super bad. Even yes. if you're not really into comedies, if you're into Oscar art house stuff, you got Emma Stone in there, Oscar winner, right? Two <laughs> times, right? This is this is an art house film. Uh, no, this is an art house comedy. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. That explains it. That yeah. explains it. Guys, leave the stream right now and go out super bad. <laughs> the art house comedy coming. Yeah. Criterion's gonna put out a 4K and hey, you very know raunchy. What? 
very wrong. I would buy oh, that. <laughs> they need to do that. They need to do like a, a comedy line. Oh my they, god. Yeah, I, I think that would be nice. Uh, I think the only people who really do stuff like that is Kino. Like Kino comes out with movies like it's Pat, like random movies that I feel like right. they, like, like is this out because of me? Because I'm the only one that saw this movie. <laughs> the only Thunder. one that cares about it. <laughs> yeah. The Tropic Thunder. You yeah, know, they oh, did drop that's a big Thunder, movie, man. Oh, just so I got my TiVo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm just I, thinking. Okay. I have a laptop and it's like small, you know, skinny. And whenever I carry it around, that's, I always say, I've got your TiVo. That's my favorite part of the movie. Is, <laughs> is, is, uh, what the, McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. He's so concerned about the damn TiVo. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite part of them, I mean, I know we're not talking about Tropic Thunder, but in, if anyone picks it, uh, uh, what's the guy? What was his name? Simple Jack. Everything oh with Simple Jack. Oh my gosh. It just make, I just, not right. But it makes me laugh. It's very funny. Well, even Robert Downey Jr. playing a black guy. Like, oh, that's yeah. like, you know, like, oh you know, We're like, getting nominated for an Oscar. Oscar for yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like an Oscar yeah. nomination. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it almost makes the joke real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he he did that for the movie, and in the movie he's doing it to get a claim, and then he got actual real life yeah. claim for doing yeah. it. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the opening trailers. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> to- yeah. Toby Maguire, uh, winner of best best kiss at the MTV Movie Awards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at first I didn't know that that was a part of the movie. I'm like, what is this new movie? Yeah. You know? Extra trailers. Or- <laughs> yeah. Oh. Great. So oh, anyway, man. see super bad. It's very great. Yes. Super bad. <laughs> yep. All right, dude. What are you thinking? I'm going with another another movie from my past that I absolutely love that doesn't get any love. I don't have it right. In, I have it on DVD, but I believe my mom is borrowing it. So oh. it's at her apartment. But it's Tomcat. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> It's good. It is so I've good. So, <laughs> so yeah. So basically, it's another movie that's uh, kind of frowned upon. It's about these guys who uh, they decide that they don't like. They're trying to be the last one single, and they want to have sex with as many girls as they can. <laughs> and then so they try to. And th- there's a pot, so they're putting all this money in this pot, and whoever is single at the end wins this money. So the money keeps piling up. So they try to get this one guy who's never going to get married because he's just mowing down people. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he, he's going to town. So, uh, so they try to get him set up with this girl to get her mar- to get him married. So it's all about trying to get this like Tomcat married, mm. just so uh, right. he just so like uh, Jerry O'Connell can win the win the money. <laughs> but yeah, well, you yeah, know who's the other guy? Jake Busey is in that. Jake, Jake Busey, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I met, yeah, I, I got to meet Jake Busey, and I was I told him how much I liked it. And he was telling me stories behind scenes about it. Nice. Yeah, man, how did I miss that one? When did yeah. it come out? like two thousand one or two thousand? I should have seen. I it. mean, if Jerry O'Connell's <laughs> in it, that would yeah, he needed it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like early two thousand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In a, yeah, Brian goes goes blue. There's a testicle scene in Tomcats that's so funny. It's gross though, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to follow up, I guess boat trip with another trip kind of movie and you know uh, don't, don't tell scotty about this one scotty doesn't yeah. know right? uh right. we'll have to go with euro trip yes. yeah also underrated take a look at unrated <laughs> underrated on this one look at that. yes oh my gosh this movie is hilarious just, i mean just the scotty doesn't know song you can just right. call oh, that. My <laughs> oh my gosh and i remember uh seeing this when i was younger and i could not get that song out of my head and they have a sing-along version on yeah. the i was trying to sing along with him mm-hmm. pretty good. <laughs> matt damon that, uh, yeah. matt damon yeah 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 i guess he, he like he was either like he produced it and he was like friends with the director really, really? So, he, wow. so, he, so he popped in to do with the cameo because it's, yeah. it's not him singing no but yeah <laughs> but it's him in the scene which is weird to yeah. see oh, like God. hey what, what the heck is he doing in here <laughs> Dude, oh, this... but that, that whole scene is great too hey this isn't where i parked my car yeah <laughs> <laughs> you got a little something you know you got, uh-huh. you got a little something yeah. you gotta get it off uh yeah I love this. Yeah, I love the scene when they're like they're stuck in year in Europe and they're like, oh, we only have a dollar twenty five. What does that buy us? And they're like, <laughs> <"I'm mentioning." laughs> and he tips the guy like a dime or something. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna start my own hotel. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was so a good one too because like when I was a kid, that was like a Michelle Trachtenberg is in that. She was like mm-hmm. Harriet the Spy when yeah. I was a little kid. 
And then I, when that movie came out, I was a little older. She was uh, a little older, and I was like, "What? Okay, Harriet the Spy. I like her." Now, so, <laughs> so, yeah. So I had a huge crush on uh, Michelle Trachtenberg. Yeah, and I yeah. actually worked with her on a movie, and wow. like it was one of those things where it was like a, a, a surreal moment where I stopped and looked at her, and she looked at me, and I didn't look away, and it was just like she was like, <laughs> "Why is this guy just staring at me?" Like, Dirty. Uh, over there. What are you doing? Dude? Yeah. It, it, no. It, it was awkward. Like. And, and I could tell that she was like, oh, my God. Because it was one of those things where it's like, like she she gave me a bad look. And I was like, uh. It was just one of those weird moments. It was my first time on a Hollywood set. Yeah, and wow. I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, I was like, oh, shit. I, I grew up, you know, because I had no idea she was in the movie. And here I am in the scene with her. I was like, oh, shit. It's uh, Michelle Trackenberg. Yeah. <laughs> so you know no well. picture, yeah. no autograph, nothing. Yeah. Like after no. no this, this, this was, uh, it was 2007. Uh, so, like, you know, we... You know, cell phones weren't even a thing to take pictures mm. or autographs like that. And plus, when you're working on a set, you don't really get autographed. You know, you yeah. don't get fired and stuff. Don't be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, he would just be the guy who stares at. <laughs> <her>. <laughs> Dude, that's what I was. I was just starting. I was just like, oh man, it's Michelle Dragonberg. <laughs> oh man, that's a great story. I know her well from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's, that's where yeah. I learned oh, about yeah. her originally in the late nineties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, you're and. A- yeah, and with Eurotrip, my sister to this day, her text message alert is male motherfucker. Like, you know, like oh, whenever she gets yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, with the little brother. Oh, yeah. So funny with the camera. He's like, yeah. I got to get the videotape for this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and the, the train. It's cool, is he? It's cool. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Fred Armisen, right? It, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's right. That was funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The robot man fight. Yeah. Oh, that was great, too. Yeah, that's a good movie. That movie is so good. good. So yeah. fun. <laughs> All right, let's see who's joining us again. We're getting more people here tonight. This is amazing. Great turnout. We got Coco oh, and Coco. Hey, Coco. People are missing raunchy comedies in their life. That's, we got I mean, Brian. Yeah. The like yeah. has been spanked. Well, thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> hey, it can never be spanked enough, though. So everybody's <laughs> spanking on it if you haven't. Uh, let's see. Um, Huck is saying for old school raunch, I gotta throw out Bachelor Party. Bachelor Party. Yeah. Yeah, on the end I haven't mm-hmm. seen that one. That's Tom a, Hanks. It's Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks yeah. Oh, Tom Hanks. Yeah. 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 Don't that. <laughs> Early that, 80s. yeah, that's where like the whole hot dog thing came from. Like the hot dog bun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Make the dick. <laughs> yeah, the dick and the hot dog bun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brian saying no, your right trip is my mom's favorite comedy. No, it's a good one. Like if oh, you nice. say that's your number one favorite, of all, it's my top five. You mm-hmm. know, besides like American Pie stuff, Euro Trip is high up there for sure. That's great. Oh, so good. All right, let's get on to our number three right here. Oh, wait, I don't, like Tiana. Yeah, I did Tiana go? go? Oh wait, Tiana, you didn't go. <laughs> Did I go? I might jump ahead. My bad. You didn't go either. Because you jumped in on super bad. Only that one. That went over. Yeah, so yeah, so I think Nate pulled super bad, right? Yeah, and then, and, we went, and then we went straight to me. Yeah. I, was, I was confused. So we, so yeah, yeah. I was, you okay, Tiana, then Steve. What do we got, Tiana? Yeah, go okay. See, this is what happens. <laughs> Tiana, you should have chose super bad, and then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, for my second one, I have one that was recommended to me by Adam Loves, or the Adam, the movie hunter. Sorry, I almost said it wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, is Hard Bodies. Oh, wow. Have you guys seen mm. Hard Bodies? Oh, let's yeah. zoom in on that. I don't think we... I've never yeah. seen it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm looking <laughs> on that one. No, if you're looking for the movie <laughs> out there. It's like, I, I really have to investigate this one. <laughs> what is All that? right. <laughs> well, that's a movie for you. Okay. <laughs> Well, what's that about? Sorry, uh, attention now. What's that That's one about? Porn, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, this movie. <laughs> this movie is about these uh three, they're like older gentlemen. Uh, um, they rent this uh cottage area and it's like <laughs> nearby the water. And I believe there's these two guys. And they try to pick up women for these three guys that Mm -hmm. want to, I guess, probably like get laid basically. (laughs) So then they have like a party and have so many women come over and they try to get these three old guys laid. 
<laughs> it's a pretty they're, good movie. They're trying to help out the community. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Helping the community. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen, seen this it, one. really good. <laughs> you should yeah. see it. <laughs> what year? It's what year fun. was this? Uh, 1984. Yes, 1984. Okay. Yeah. I'll add it to the list. <laughs> it's really yeah. good. <laughs> All right, uh, Steve. Oh, well, <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, how this are you gonna one... follow that up? <laughs> <laughs> hard this bodies, too. <laughs> yeah, this is one's from uh, <laughs> <1983. laughs> this one's from 1983. I was uh, so I was 10 at the time and directed by Harold Ramos. And this one, the only one out of this franchise I would consider to be a raunchy comedy because it's R rated, but it's mm-hmm. National Lampoon's oh. Vacation, classic. Yeah, nice. Chevy Chase. Oh, <laughs> I just seen this movie with Beverly D'Angelo in the, in the shower. That they, they, yeah. they've actually on the Blu-rays, they've actually kind of cut a little bit of it, kind of oh, edited okay. some of it out. Yeah, oh, okay. I have a, I have a DVD of it where <laughs> there's, yeah. there's more like oh, there's yeah. more from her left left side that they they don't show, and he he does. Steve <laughs> <laughs> is like I know. Steve is on his investigation on this. <laughs> yeah, I, think, <laughs> I think the 4K and the Blu-rays have all cut, oh. kind of edited that scene out a little bit, or, or it's still there, but it's. He said, wait a down. second, this is not the vacation that I know. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. What kind of vacation is this now? Yeah. yeah you, you got the great uh, Clark, uh, Chris Waldron, he goes through the shower scene and he's got the banana and he does the, uh-huh. the classic psycho yeah. Of yeah. parody. And the thing. <laughs> yeah, this, this movie is definitely, I think, way more raunchy than the other vacation movie or, because I think those are all PG-13. This is the only R-rated. Mm-hmm. So they, they go quite a, quite a ways, you know, Clark with the he sees a you know beautiful woman in the in the pool at the at the motel hotel you know the motel and he gets gets in the pool at, you know gets I guess gets naked with her in the pool and so there's a lot more you see in the, the R rated version than, than you've seen on TV they've shown it on TV for years <laughs> the Blu Ray is cutting all this stuff out yeah well it, it's not the Blu Ray that part's in the Blu Ray but not the, a lot of the shower has been edit, edited out a little bit or some of it. I don't know if that's Beverly D'Angelo. Maybe didn't didn't want it all in there, and now she's a, a grandma now. Probably didn't want that. Maybe she requested it. But if you got the I, DVD, you'll, you'll I, see it. Yeah, I would say if you've seen the movie uh, Pacific Heights, she's topless in that movie too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she was hot back in the day, like in the eighties, like seventies, early eighties. And you know, if you're not satisfied with your new vacation 4K. Check out <laughs> right. Pacific Heights. <laughs> Buy a DVD for a dollar, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad Steve did some investigating for us. Oh yeah, well, I, I've seen this movie for years, and I've got the D, I still have the DVD up there. I, I'm not going to get rid of it because it, yeah. it's of that team. Like, we know why. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know why you're hanging on to that yeah. collector's edition. Yeah. I haven't seen the 4K yet. I'm sure it's been it's still like the Blu-ray, Blu-ray where they've edited it down. But yeah, yeah, you got to got to check out your local, you know pawn shop or whatever and you'll see the dvd and you know check it out yeah it. i, I did watch. not investigate it that closely so comparing the trash you know the let's see how the scenes like that down mike's yeah. still thinking about hard bodies over there it's softcore porn yeah the hard, hard body yeah it is <laughs> I think it used to be like Skinamax back in the day when, when they used to call it Skinamax <laughs> yeah, when I was younger. Skinamax, yeah. Now it's part of Max, part of HBO. And... It's regular Max now. Yeah, now it's, <laughs> it's not like it used to be like back in the good old days. <laughs> right. We're learning a lot about Steve today. <laughs> <laughs> That's how his mind was demented for a very young age. <laughs> watching the stuff, you know. <laughs> Man, uh, that uh, motel scene though on vacation, I always felt like, what is he trying to do? Like, how is he going to get away with this? Because it's a little yeah. like a motel pool yeah. surrounded by all the room. It's like, yeah, you don't think somebody's going to yeah. look out eventually. This is like, crazy. Oh. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there you yeah. Go. Well, and like you think about it, like nowadays they would never have a character do that because that's like our our main character hero. So that'd be very like it would look yeah frowned upon. yeah if we're any fr- really <laughs> yeah. frowned upon to have. Yeah. Your your main your main con your main contact your main hero do that mm-hmm. right? Oh my gosh, uh, the car scene at the end when they're yeah. like worn down and everyone's like, "We want to go home," but he just goes on the F ramp. Yeah. My, my favorite scene is where they're like driving and showing them all sleeping, and it's like panning over, and then it shows Clark sleeping behind yeah. the wheel, and he's like driving through the <laughs> driving through everything and parks. Like, We're here. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, my Wally World scene, like the the classic scene, they go to the theme park and, uh -huh. and find out. And John Candy's in it, so yeah, yeah, very old movie, classic. but I still love it. Yeah, I think and, and Duncan, Duncan around. from Duncan Soy Chest is in there. Mm -hmm. Right, plays Willie or not Willie? Well, yeah, Willie. Is it Willie? Is that what it's called? Wally, 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 they filmed that at uh, Six Flags, Six didn't Flags. they? Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. this looks familiar to me. Why does it look so familiar? <laughs> yeah. They drive yeah. from Chicago to Los Angeles or go LA, whatever, uh, yeah. near California, and then they find out <laughs> the whole yeah. trip was for nothing, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And it's also the same place they filmed the opening for Step by Step. So. Ooh, <laughs> classic. Yeah. With the big white roller coaster? With yeah. The, the wooden roller coaster? Colossus. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 and then they added in the water. So if you go back and look, you see the water is added in. And now, like every time I watch step by step, I'm always staring at the water added in. Like you, the waves are going the wrong way. It's it's weird. Wow. It's, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I wish you didn't tell me. <laughs> well, that, I know. I just like this is me watching it now. <laughs> All right. So. Now we're on to number three. Yes. There we go. Yes. There we go. Number three. Now. Back on track. Yes. Back on track. <laughs> All right. We're gonna get, we're gonna go with Nate again. We're gonna try to keep it. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait till you said go because I don't know. Already, already messed up when we were trying to go in order. I'm definitely not gonna go off the rails on this anymore. I'm mad. Okay. We'll, we'll stick with Red Bull. Something's in. Yeah. There. We'll stick with 19. <laughs> uh, we'll stick with 1983. This is the only 80s oh. movie I grabbed. Good. And this one, I feel like it's a little lesser known, but if you like these kind of movies, you've probably seen it. Um, this has Phoebe Cates in it. So Man, but really, Kate. they oh. Private school. That's oh, right. I got private. <laughs> you want to talk about a movie they can't make now? Betsy is, Russell. Is that, is that, is that with Betsy Russell? <laughs> Betsy Russell on the horse. On a horse. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Phoebe wow. Cates. Fantastic and doing anything really. Yeah. Um, Matthew Modine and some other guys. They basically the premise is that uh, they are, of course, they're horny teens. What else is new? And they disguise themselves as girls to get into an all girls private school. Ooh. That's the premise. That's yeah. it. And Matthew Modine ends up falling in love with uh, Phoebe Kate's character, but he has dressed like a woman. So oh, yeah. and there's complication. It's almost like boat trip. But in that way, but a little different. Um, but very, really, <laughs> you know, this is a raunchy comedy because in the credits, you got Sylvia Christelle as the sex right. teacher. Wow. Anybody who's credited as the sex teacher, you know, it's raunchy. Unfortunately, it's not unrated, it's just regular rated, but uh, no. it's good enough. And it's, it's actually really funny. Um, to be honest, I'm not the hugest fan of like. Comedy before a certain time doesn't always work for me, but this movie I think is really funny. Oh. So I'm gonna go with that one. Sorry, Mike. I didn't mean to. It's uh, all right. It's all right. Yeah. Up on your toes. <laughs> I didn't think anybody was gonna pull that one. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm surprised you had it, but there you go. Private school. Well, wow. oh, such a funny movie though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when they you know dress up like the ladies and they go into the door with <laughs> all that, he's all like sweaty too. Yes. <laughs> like, oh I my need god. Massage right now, you know. It's like oh my. Like how do they not know? And it's so obvious too that they're guys. Well, they're really <laughs> ugly. They're like really <laughs> ugly women. Yeah. I mean, it's like white chicks. You know, they're horrifying looking, yeah. and people are like, yeah, they're, they're women. Um. But yeah, Betsy Russell. So anybody who doesn't know, if you like haven't seen that movie, if you've seen like the Saw movies, she's Jigsaw's wife mm -hmm. and she's incredible. Honestly. Oh, that's her. I did yeah, not even her. make that connection. Yeah. Oh my God. I definitely want to play a game. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a game. <laughs> I'm like chaining, I'm chaining my leg up. I'm like, yep. <laughs> Man, yeah, that that is an iconic scene though. That horse. Scene. Oh, it's um, it's it's legendary. Also, legendary. another yeah. legendary scene: the yoga dancing scene. Oh my gosh! Yes, oh. yes. Did even and, and even too when they're graduating and they're graduating, oh, they all like moon yeah, the, the camera. Moon, the moon yeah. at them. Wait, so like, I think that's the only time you get to see any of Phoebe Cates. They don't show Phoebe Cates. Yeah, she was probably like rest, you know right? last times. Yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't show too much of her in this movie. Just a little no. booty. Some booty on the beach too, but. This is a casual <laughs> Phoebe Cates movie. Yeah, yeah. She, she's the main character, so like they shy away from that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not in Fast Times, they didn't. No. Oh, that's another movie where the other one was like, man, I forgot to grab that one. Yeah. 
What was that movie where she's in the caves and uh, she's like naked all the time in that movie? I can't. Gremlins. Not <laughs> paradise is a paradise. You know about something that? like that. Yeah. Paradise. Wait, 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 wait. No. Paradise though. Yeah, it's not a problem. Mike's on uh, Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google noted, right? Okay. He, he, I think he's the body double in that movie a lot. Wait, so. said we're Phoebe no, no, it was her. It was her. I saw a documentary not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> you saw a documentary. I saw, about yeah, that. I saw a documentary about it, and uh, they were like, "Yeah, uh, Amy Heckerling was talking about Fast Times, and she, yeah. you know, she did all this nudity in that other movie. So I didn't want to. Sh- uh, she didn't want to shoot the pool scene, uh, uh, but they forced her. They were like, "No, you're gonna do." <laughs> You're gonna do the scene, so it was her. Oh wow, Mike, <laughs> that's for you. <laughs> if you were concerned, we yes, yes. Hey, I'm a Phoebe Cates fan, so I haven't. Seen yeah, her. I gotta, you know, <laughs> gorgeous. And she's with the uh, whoa. She's married to Kevin Klein. So. Kevin Klein, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It is called Paradise, 1982. So same year or year before. Never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not lately though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one, huh, Stu? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, the brain on, again. Yeah, paradise. Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've dropped that Fred. She's in that. Oh, that right. movie's so good. I like that one. Yeah, that movie. Man, you know what? You just inspired me, everybody. We got to do a Phoebe Cates filmography stream one of these days. It's going to be Gremlins, Gremlins, too. Princess Caribou. Um, I've never seen that. I'm just on her page because I was looking up the <laughs> picture. That was the name of that movie. Harbor Fan Club. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta check it out. All right, Steve, what do you got? Well, I was gonna do one. You just talking about a movie, but I, I decided to change it in case somebody else. Uh, but th- this one's from 1984. <laughs> This movie's really a, a kind of. I think I think they're all well. The first two or three are all ra- R rated, but. But I'm going to talk about the, the original Police Academy. Uh, uh, I love those. I've never seen them. those. I haven't I, seen it either. Really? Yeah. You've been murdered, really? Please yeah, get I, mean, I want to, but I, it's something that I would have loved. I know. I know I'm going to love yeah. the movies. For a long time, it wasn't really? available on Blu-ray. This is like the first two. Uh, Bobcat Goldthwaite's in the second one. Yeah. <laughs> now they got the, the all-pack from yeah. Shout Factory. I think. Yeah, you can get, mm-hmm. now you can get it in, in the U.S., but for a long time, it was just uh, in, in Europe. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> this is it. It's, it's very raunchy. Uh, it's it's very racy too. Like stuff stuff that you wouldn't be able to get away with now. Did you um, think it's PG thirteen though? No, this one's R rated. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think the first two or three are R rated, and then it, I got I think it got PG thirteen. You get a little sillier that. later. Yeah, <laughs> the first two or three are really good, and, and then it got uh, Steve Gutenberg's in the first uh, first four. He, he did way too many of these movies. You know, uh, Three Men and a Baby. You know, he, a lot of stuff like that. Like. This, this is what one of the movies he, they couldn't they wanted him to come back for all these movies he did like the first four and then he probably should have stopped after the first two or maybe three at that point because it, it kind of ruined his career in a lot of ways but but yeah this is a, this is a it, it's a it's kind of nutty like it has a big like, like riot scene I, 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 it, it's it, it's it, it's raunchy but and it's, there's nudity and, it's, and that kind of stuff but the Kim Cattrall is in this one too she's in the first one all so, the nudity so but all the nudity is in the in the yeah, like in the first one. First one's like all nudity. There's a lot of nudity in it, but it's all placed on the You're cops. Like, didn't see the first one. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like all cast in the first, the first movie, and then they kind of streamlined the cast a little bit for the like the second one, where they, they had like some of the main characters, but a lot of the like secondary characters were were gone from the from the sequel. So yeah, Police okay, Academy. What, what, so what check is this out. Scene all about? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's the kind of movie. Uh, we're yeah, that's the kind of movie we're talking it's about. It's good, yeah. though. It's uh, all right, dude. It's a, a watch a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm getting them screw titles here. That's an older ones. Are... Yeah. All right, Tiana. All right. How are you going to follow you... up Hard Bodies? I can follow up. <laughs> oh, oh, you can follow up. Oh, what's up? What is this one about? <laughs> It's March. It's March. Wow. Hey, it's March. Oh my God. Oh, it's oh March. God. The back. All right. Produced oh. by Playboy or, or Penthouse. Or... Yeah. Isn't that the white, the, the whitest kids you ever known or something? Yeah. And Isn't then yeah, one? yeah. And one of the kids one of the kids went off to write and direct uh Barbarian. Barbarian. Yeah. Yeah. All right. A little right, right. One. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one passed away a couple years ago. He, oh. he was drunk and fell off his balcony or something. 
during the wow. pandemic. Yeah. Wow. I was about to say something. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> He looked kind of weird, but I didn't want people to make yeah. that that I'm associating that it was okay <laughs> that he passed. Oh, I was just yeah. saying he looked weird in that movie, the other one, like the long haired guy. Yeah, it looked like a cartoon. Have you All right, back to Miss March. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> What's it about? <laughs> okay. Have you guys not seen this? Have you, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I, saw, I saw it in theaters. It's on the watch. I've seen it in theaters yeah. too. Okay. Um, so I haven't recently. I don't believe I recently watched this one actually. Um, so I might not be able to talk about it because I don't yeah. really remember. So much. yeah, basically, like he has a girlfriend and he ends up in a coma. And when he yeah. wakes up, his it's a couple years later, and his girlfriend's like the cover model of Playboy. So he go he so him and his friend go out to California to the Playboy Mansion to see if he can, you know, rekindle his relationship with her. That's right. Do they have, like, Hugh Hefner in the movie at all? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Jean Underwood was in that. Yeah, she was. she was. on G4 and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she was in there. So they made that authentic then. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's why they made it. Those guys were like, hey, what if we have an idea? We'll make a movie about Playboy Playmates. And then wow. we'll get some to be in the movie. Uh-huh. Well, what, was there any sequels to that? They could have done a whole calendar kind of line. Uh, <laughs> 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 Miss March 2 cruise control. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that Zach Krager is the guy that did Barbarian that directed uh, that one. Um, wrote yeah. It. yeah, yeah, he's a definitely a comedy writer. Yeah, Trevor Moore was a guy that, that passed away. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Because I like that show. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Uh dude, what do you got? How are you gonna follow that up now? So I'm gonna jump off of what Nate was talking about with the guys dressing up as girls to go to school <laughs> we're gonna have sorority boys okay <laughs> what the heck is this? i've never heard of this i have heard yeah it's, it's, with, it's, it's, it's with harlan williams and then you got uh the guy seventh from heaven. seventh heaven and then lex luther from uh, <laughs> the hell, uh from smallville so so anyways they're like these frat boys who are are getting kicked out of their frat and they're running out of money so they dress up as girls to join the sorority so they can stay at this house and go to school still. And it's, you know, Cass and Sue's. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. Movie. But yeah, it's uh, all those cool guys. So that means they would have to be in that persona that whole time then. That they're there, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they, they yeah, don't yeah. want to stay there, dang. Yeah, well, and there's even a scene where, like, what's his name is going to go take a shower at, like, midnight. And he's taking a shower, and one of the girls comes in, but she, she has her glasses off. So, like, you know, <laughs> she can't see. And then she, like, drops, you know, she, like, dro- there's a scene where she drops the washcloth and lands on his boner. And just, like, hey, then... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It, it was a great movie. Yeah, Harlan Williams. Yeah, Barry like, Watson, that's his name. Yeah, B- Barry yeah. Watson, yeah. Yes. How does no one notice that those are guys? Like, even in the other movie. <laughs> well, Barry uh, Watson's yeah. kind of a... He's a pretty girl. Yeah, Look at pretty him. there. Yeah. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Rosenbaum, you can really pass. All right. Uh, <laughs> Harlan Williams, I can't, I can't say much for... They do put the lipstick on, you know. Okay. Yeah. It's not like private school. I mean, did you see that? Picture yeah, private there? school, there's yeah. not even, they don't even try yeah, private like school. Like, go on a dress and that's it. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys on here, it's Animal House meets American Pie. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Just giving shout outs to two yeah. of the best. It, it's three stars from San Francisco Chronicle. Wow. <laughs> you put that on the- <laughs> a very reliable place. <laughs> Don't even say a three out of how many? Is it three stars? Yeah, three stars. <laughs> <laughs> Could be three out of three. There you go. Perfect score. <laughs> if someone scores on a three scale, I want to meet that person. That's a very <laughs> odd amount to score on. You I mean, three out of three. Out, you're like, that's not how you score stuff. <laughs> oh, we got Tim. We know what he likes to talk sometimes. He's in the right spot. <laughs> Hi, he's, he, he's not a big fan of raunchy comedies though really yeah, he Tim likes his boobs but he doesn't like them funny oh <laughs> well, he likes them serious yeah he like he likes the serious titties uh, okay <laughs> all right what are serious boobs <laughs> ask tim tim talks serious boobs. yes tim, explain that to us explain that to us we need more context there hey what's funny about uh, the sorority boys is that mark mother's ball did the music for it. He did a lot of the Wes Anderson's early movies, and he was in oh, Devo. Yeah. 
late singer Devo. <laughs> <laughs> he did the music for it, which is pretty pretty wild. Oh, nice. He did the theme song for Rugrats too. Yeah, Shout out oh, to Mark yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's like early Wes Anderson. A lot of a lot of great stuff like Rushmore and you know, oh, Bolton and the Bombs. So, yeah, so good. Yeah, I gotta watch these again. <laughs> Dude, you got a whole list over there. Oh, you like? <laughs> All right. Okay, I got a I got a story for this one. Oh. I got a story for this one. So. First of all, Matt Damien. Team America. <laughs> oh, Team America. All right. So I saw this movie when I was very young, me and my brother, and then also my dad. And we did not expect <laughs> my dad to see this movie with us. And normally, he would just go to the theater. He would drop us off. He'd go watch his own movie. We would go see our own movie, too. And we're, like, super young, me and my brother. Well, th- that day he decided to join us, and that was not a good day. No. Oh my god! <laughs> like with the <laughs> just from the beginning too, the song about AIDS. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh god, and it just keeps going, right? America, f yeah. Like when that song happens, I'm like, oh, this is not going to go over well. And then the puppets, all the positions yeah. they go in. Oh my! Oh gosh! Very, very uncomfortable. Did, just, did he like it? No. 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 Oh, okay. We didn't even finish it. We didn't even finish it. Oh, like wow. it got three quarters of the way through, and like we saw other families leaving too. Like parents were taking their kids. Wow. Out this. Like they did not expect it. You know, it's mm-hmm. like. They thought it was just going to be a fun little puppet movie, like the Muppets or something. <laughs> it was There's a fun little Muppet movie. It, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that a little too much fun for the puppets in there. Uh, but yeah, my dad's like, what is this filth? What is this garbage? Who told you to go see this? Like, what is this? And my brother tried to play it off, too. He was like, oh, we didn't know it was going to be this. Yeah. Way, you know, we thought it was, you know, family friendly. Yeah. Boys are boys grounded for now on, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> But, I don't. Um, I, I don't know why, but that reminds me. Um, I took my grandma to go see. I think it was Bruno. Oh and, god! <laughs> and, and like you know, it's it's the scene where the dick goes Bruno, and like there's a family sitting in front of me that got up and left, <laughs> and all you hear is my grandma say prudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's more at, yeah. 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 It just made me laugh. It's Borat, yeah. Is and it Borat? The, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the, the guy that played Borat. Yeah, yeah. boy, yeah, 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 yeah. They're nice. I really like this. <laughs> right, <laughs> such a time. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew I was gonna be able to play that clip tonight. Yeah, <laughs> not no Borat in there. <laughs> I have a cardboard cutout of Borat when it first came out. <laughs> I don't know where that though. I do. Oh, that's the cool. one where he's just standing with the suit. Yeah, yeah, he's standing there. With the suit. Yeah, I have that. I have like a broke back mountain one, and a <laughs> that's a raunchy, an Ooh. orphan one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not funny, but <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Yeah, I used to work at a grocery store whenever and whenever I saw like a cardboard cutout, I'd be like, Can you hit save that for me? I still have like I still have like a Batman Begins still in like the, the saran wrap, so it's not even opened or built or anything. Yeah. Oh, you gotta so open cool. it up, dude. Open it yeah. up, play with it, you know, let it breathe. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Batman Begins, so <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to part with that one. <laughs> But you guys are a fan of Team America, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not as much as I am of uh, basketball. Basketball is my favorite. Basketball, yeah. Baseball is funny. What about Orgasmo? Orgasmo. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Orgasmo? That's the yeah. South Park guy. South Park yeah. guy. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We are now on to... The... I got everybody this time, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> good, good. Four, yeah. All right. Oh, well, hey, once again, let's, let's jump into the comments. Let's see if Tim... Says, not sure I can explain my love for serious boobs. <laughs> we'll never know then. We'll never well, know. It's a serious matter. He doesn't want to talk about it. It's very serious. <laughs> yes. Oh, is this a new person in the chat? Static Blaster. I love Road Trip, old school Beef Euro Beef Trip. Beer Beer Beer. No yeah. hard feelings. My boss's daughter. Well, boss's welcome daughter. welcome to the channel, Static Blaster, Hello. if it's your first time here. Hello. My Hello. boss's daughter. Why does that sound familiar? That's an Ashton Kutcher. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, it's funny because I had Ashton Kutcher was like fading in my mind. Like I was like, why is Ashton Kutcher popping in my head? My boss is uh, what Ashton Kutcher is, and is Katie Holmes, Brittany Murphy, Brittany Murphy. No, I don't know. Isn't it Brittany mm-hmm. Murphy? No, no. That's the other one. My huh. boss's daughter. I know Car- Carmen Electra's in it in the pool with the with the shirt on. I know that. Oh, wow. With the shirt on. <laughs> with the shirt on, but it's uh, but just the shirt on. I remember mm. that from my boss's daughter. Uh, Tara Reed. Tara Reed. Oh, Tara. 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 How could we? Tara. 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 
<laughs> and Carmen Electra. She's in it too. Fully it's a raunchy comedy, automatic. <laughs> Uh, we got Caveman saying a great 70s raunchy comedy is The Groove Tube. Anyone oh, think I've never seen that one? Never never seen that. No? You know, you know, Tom Cruise was in a raunchy comedy, his first movie ever. And I can't remember what it's called. It was in Risky Business, but that, that was No, it good. was before. It was like a year before he. Wow. Yeah. I've seen he's in Taps. He's well, in Taps. Right so that's, not a, that's not a comedy at all. <laughs> <laughs> the dark movie. No, I'm trying to think of all my Tom Cruise movies. I'm like, nah, not Mission Impossible. And <laughs> and, um, hmm. Yeah, it's like 82 or something, maybe. Wow. I have to look that up. I'm sure he regrets it. Yeah. <laughs> he's done like 70 movies or something like that or more. Either that or it's his favorite movie, but he won't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah, I think it's like a road movie, kind of one of those. Mm. Man, those road movies are so funny. They got to bring those back. No, they said losing it. Losing, losing it, it, yeah. Losing it, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, now we're on to our fourth raunchy movie okay. recommendation. Nate, you've been saving? saving I've, something been, sa- I've been saving a couple. Um, Let's see. Right, what else am I going to take out of my pile? What do you got? All right, hopefully I take another one out of your pile. Gonna make you go to your <laughs> honorable mention again. <laughs> Uh, this is a movie that I don't know. I, I feel like it might be underrated. Either that, or people don't like it, and I like it. Those are the only two options. It's either underrated, and people just don't see it enough or talk about it, or everyone hates it, and and uh, and Nate likes it. But this is a movie that is a little bit more recent. I'm like 2011, and uh, a good comedic cast. But there's one specific reason why I think it's very funny, uh, and the movie's called The Change Up. Oh, I love that. This, oh, guess what? <laughs> underrated. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, wow. There you go. Maybe I've seen it's Absolutely one. hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Olivia Wilde in there. Mike, wow. there's for you. Olivia Wilde. Olivia <laughs> Wilde and crazy. Olivia yeah, gorgeous. Wild. Yes, Olivia <laughs> Wilde. Um, and Leslie Mann, too. So there's like really wow. funny people. Yep. The reason why this movie it makes me laugh though is because they, so it's a body swap movie. Mm-hmm. Freaky um, Friday. There you go. Yeah, it's 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 look, director of wedding crashers. So um, basically, it's a body swap movie where they pee in a fountain and they're like, I wish I had your life. Oh, I wish I had your life. And the reason it's funny is it's in a face off way because they got Jason Bateman becoming the wild playboy, like the Ryan Reynolds character. And then Ryan Reynolds having to be the straight guy, which at this time, that was like unheard of. You know, you had like Van Wilder and yeah. waiting, and he's always the yeah, that boy. guy. And so to see Jason Bateman like doing some of the lines that he does in this movie hilarious um and it has all the staples of a raunchy comedy there's nudity there's a lot of sex jokes there's some really really uh funny like the stuff with the kids is actually really funny there's poop in it so you know it's got a little bit of everything <laughs> a little really poop and a little bit of poop yeah man. A little poop yeah I, I think this movie's really funny i i've always really enjoyed it so. leslie man destroys the toilet in it that's one of the oh my god it's hilarious and and he and and jason bateman yeah. like, Ryan Reynolds, he has that, yeah. he's so disgusted like, by it he's like don't come in here with gun still blazing <laughs> Face it the other way. Yeah. She's just trying to go to bed, and he's like disgusted. It's, uh-huh. it's really funny. That's a good one, man. I haven't seen that in the longest time. Man, a movie with a concept <laughs> where you can switch bodies by peeing in a in a <laughs> fountain. And then they just, move the it, fountain. They just pick up and yeah. move it. They can't find it. <laughs> that's lost art. Like they they can't do that. Now. People yeah. destroy it. Yeah, yeah this is like if you take fountain. if you take uh, Freaky Friday, and and Big. Because remember in Big, he's trying to find the Zoltar machine, and it's like they mm-hmm. moved it. Same thing, like they they pee in a fountain when they go back to it, like the fountain is gone, the whole structure. So they have to like wait till they can find it and track it down. So I don't know. I've always really liked this movie, but I feel like it doesn't get a lot of love. So may- yeah. maybe I'm the only one. It really doesn't get a lot of love. That one for sure. Yeah. It's overlooked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not anymore. Now that <laughs> great has it. Look, Brian goes glue loves it, so that's good. I'm yep. glad. There you go. Look at this. Favorite body swap movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. All right, Steve, what do you got? Oh wow. Well, well, here we go. I think one of the more iconic movies. We've got Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, and I can't yeah. work. oh <laughs> my pie, you know. <laughs> Yeah, oh, classic right. movie. This is. I a, love that cover too. That cover is great. Yeah, they start. In, I have. A, I have actually have a the uh, Deadpool. It comes with a Deadpool uh, slipcover. I don't have a slipcover on it, but it's oh, like yellow. Oh, that's cool. 
but it's, it's it is a friends of the nerds, but it's Deadpool. I'm, I'm a, I guess, but I, you know, these guys go to college, so they're freshmen in college, and they they learn all about the how the jocks are kind of taking over the the school, and mm-hmm. you've got the, the you know, we've got Bush, you know, the classic classic line in the movie. <laughs> we've got Bush, you know, that they have, you know they they get the classic uh, scene where the, these guys uh, uh, perform live and these super nerdy uh, and the, you know they, they they show up the jocks in the movie that it's it's mm-hmm. it's got all, all the you know the, the pie the, the pie scene where they've got uh, clo- they take the the whoop cream off and you can see you can see her, her naked underneath it so plenty of nudity just uh, like a college movie that's another college movie that I've got in my stack here but this is a in the eighties. It's definitely the, that movie, you know, from the eighties. But you know, this classic comedy that that I, I grew up with. So I was eleven at the time when I saw this. <laughs> Another one that, that kind of ruined me. You know, so it has as Marcy Darcy's <laughs> husband in it. I can't remember his yeah. name in the show. Is it Ted? Yeah, Ted McGinn. Uh, Ted, Ted McGinley from uh, yeah. Married uh, with children. Married with children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the one the, of the main nerds is uh, in Lizzie McGuire, right? The dad. Yeah. McGuire's dad. Yeah. Kerrigan. Yeah, I actually I went to a reunion for them uh, for Revenge of the Nerds. There was like six of them there, and I got a poster signed of all of them. So it was, it was really cool to meet them. Oh man, that's great! I, I've only seen the first one though, so I don't know how the yeah. other ones are. That's really the only one you have to see. It's it's that's a classic one. The other ones are not the sequels aren't as good, but it's got Anthony I, Edwards yeah. who plays Goose and, and Top Gun later. Uh, you know, you know. It's, it's, I'm a yeah, sequel like, guy. I like yeah. sequels. I like when franchises just burn themselves to the ground. Yeah. Like I, I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, just keep on going. <laughs> keep making them. Yeah. Nate, have you seen a Revenge of the Nerd? I have not seen it in a long time, so mm-hmm. I'm I, I can't. Re- I don't remember. I that's one of those like I saw it when I was like getting into like discovering movies that came out from either before I was born or like around the time I was born. So I don't remember it, uh, but I'm sure it's funny. I'm I'll add it to the list. Rewatch. Rewatch. As How about you, Tiana? You saw that one? I have seen that one. Yeah. I watched that recently. Well, for the first time, like last month. Yeah. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. It was a good yeah, one. Classic. I liked it. All right, Tiana, what do you got for us? All right. I am going to bring a porno to the club. <laughs> yeah, back in your... <laughs> I can marry me. Yeah. That was a good movie. I've been wanting to rewatch that. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's so good. <laughs> Um, so if everyone doesn't know, it's about, uh, two friends. <laughs> well, like pretty self-explanatory in the title, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they make a porno. Yeah. <laughs> Fall in love. <laughs> There's poop in that one too. Oh, oh God. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh my gosh. It's yeah, that's great. You know, you know what I remember about that movie? That was great. The posters. All the yeah. posters were great. <laughs> You had the one where it was just Seth Rogen and you could see the back of Elizabeth Banks' head, like the very top of it. Uh, and then they had the reverse where you could see his curly hair and she's standing smiling. And then when the studios were mad, so they just put the white poster with the stick figures. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it was. It was just stick figures of each of them. Um, yeah. yeah, it was, th- yeah, was that's, really good marketing, but they wouldn't let them like... Yeah, that's what's that. on this. That's on the... On yeah, the, the stick figure one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, show that again, Steve. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I want that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. there's actually two porn stars, and it's directed by Kevin Smith. But it has a, it does have Jeff Anderson that played in Clerks, the uh, uh, Randall and Clerks. But it has uh, Tracy Lords is in it, and it has a uh, uh, Katie Morgan. I think they're both porn act, or you know, Tracy, Tracy Lords. Lords porn stars. Bubbles in that movie. Yeah, she can do bubbles. <laughs> right. She can do bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Man, yeah. Steve with the facts today, though, you're like our raunchy historian over yeah. here. <laughs> little little know, yeah. I'm like, I, Steve in the raunchiness. I don't know, but let me <laughs> yeah, you to change your name to the raunchy yeah. historian. <laughs> don't you raunchy that reviews you. <laughs> oh, good choice. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a long time. I've only watched it once. Same here. I saw it once in theaters. I liked it a lot. I just, I don't know why. I just never watched it again. I had it on DVD for a long time, but yeah, it's, it's Kevin Smith without the, without, you know, Jay and Silent Bob. It's like one of those, those movies that you try to get away from those those characters, which yeah. <laughs> those are all his best characters. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, Jason Muse is in it too, right? That I can remember. Yeah. 
Her name, yep. Craig Robinson. Her yeah. name, Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Caveman can confirm. Yeah. Yeah. There you Tracy go. Lords. She was a, illegal. She was like the illegal. She was underage when she. When she first started. Yeah. The porn. Yeah. yeah. Remember, she was in Blade too at the beginning I, of Blade. The first. Yeah. Time. So I've heard of Tracy Lords. She's a porn I, star. She, she, <laughs> she was a porn star. Like, I've never heard of this before. What she was a porn star. star. <laughs> she was a porn star. Research. 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 Yeah. No. <laughs> No, she was she was like seventeen or something like that. She was so yeah, she was under age. Like, teased, and then when she was older, she continued, and then she quit and tried to get into mainstream acting. Like in the okay, because uh, I was I was watching a movie with her in there, and I was like, it sounded familiar. So she did uh she ended up doing like the exotic thrillers later on in life, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I know her from because I was, was in Blade. Blade. She's in Blade she's, too. Who is she in Blade? In the beginning, remember the, there's like a there's like a hot girl at the beginning of the movie. Oh, uh, okay. In the Tracy club? Lords. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. She's like luring the guy, the one who's like luring the guy the whole time. That's Tracy Lords. Okay. I did not know she right. was a porno star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she started off that way. Or you know. There you go. <laughs> Man. All right. Is it my turn now? Did we get to me yet? No, what? isn't it? It's Cody's turn, isn't it? Who, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tiana yeah, just did uh, yeah. the yeah, yeah. porn. <laughs> there you go. We go on so many just did the porn. I'm like, what the heck are we talking about now? Okay. <laughs> yeah, go, dude. What are you so uh, I can't remember what year this is, but it's early 2000s again. It's going to be with Devin Sewa and uh, oh. the guy from uh, what the hell is uh, Jason Schwartzman. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Slackers. Yeah. Okay. Where they they do everything they can not to take their tests and stuff, and they're like these huge con artists of the of their uh, of their university. And even like Laura Pompel's in it, and the older brother from uh, Adventures of Pete and Pete, and so is uh, Jason Segal's in it or Siegel's right. in it. But yeah, it's right. a it's a really fun movie, really raunchy and cool. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that yeah. one. But I've yeah. never seen that one. Yeah, oh, you never, never seen Slackers? Yeah, it's pretty good. Huh. That yeah. looks like the exact DVD case I used to see at like Circuit City when I used to buy DVDs there. Circuit City. <laughs> Very Circuit City. Look at that. Look at Jason Schwartz. Cool. Man, cool. I thought I only did Wes Anderson titles. I didn't know. It did him dirty on that photo. Let me tell look you at it. He has, a, he has an A. Oh an A. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Let's zoom in on that. It's an A shaved into his uh, chest hair. <laughs> wow. It's cool, Ethan. That's wow. Does he, have, does he have a unibrow? I can tell. <laughs> he does. He does have a unibrow in this. Wow. <laughs> Jason Schwartzman's related to uh, Adrian from Adrian, Rocky. Yeah. That's, his, that's his mother. Mom, Yo, Adrian? Yeah, that's his mom. Really? I didn't even know that. Wow. He's part of the... Uh, he's, he's Talia part... Shire's his mom? Yeah. Yeah. What? He's part of the... Uh, and uh, and Nicholas Cage's Coppola. uncle. Yeah, yeah Nicholas Cage. Wait, what the heck? Uh, yeah, all, all part of that family. <laughs> Yeah. What the hell? My world, my <laughs> my mind is blown. Yeah. <laughs> so what and what makes this raunchy and something you can do now is like there's a, a scene where Devin Sewa is going to this the girl's house that he likes and his mom starts giving him a blowjob behind the bar. It's like that's <laughs> like, like that's something that would never like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like that would never happen. You know, like he's sitting there and the dad's talking to him while, while the wife's down there, you know, pretending to get ice or something. He's like, oh, you know, it's just like wow. <laughs> it's like that would never, too, buddy. You would never get that for a hero in nowadays movies. Like yeah. that's true. And, and then the other guy has like a <laughs> There's a scene where he has like this, like a uh, sock over his uh, private area, and it starts talking back to him. Guys, I talked about a sock puppet. I picked some pure gold here, guys. You did. <laughs> yeah. Man. These are you want to think about raunchy comedies? You come find me. You know the fact that I don't think any of those are on Blu-ray tells you a lot. Like, yeah. they, they really can't be resold, yeah. repackaged. Uh, there there we go. Right now, you got to start a Blu-ray line combo. And, and you know what? My grandma bought these all for me when I was a kid. So <laughs> You're like, Christmas, yes, here you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We've got Bush. Uh, yeah, yeah. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. Oh, uh, Caveman shouting out an awesome movie. 40 Days, 40 Nights is great. Perhaps a little more serious boob for Tim, but definitely funny moments. There you go. Yeah. Tim, do you like that one? <laughs> oh, Josh Hartman's face. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. What was her face that she was in? Shannon Sossaman. She was like like a little bit of the it girl at the time. She was in that. She was in the Rules of Attraction. The um, What was that? She was in One Missed Call. 
None of these ring a bell. They were trying. She was like, I remember. She was like, she had the little mole on her head. Here. Thank you. you know the details. They <laughs> like, no, I had a big what? crush on her when oh, I was young. You guys really gorgeous. prepared for this stream. Yeah. Oh my god. She's five eight. She's twenty six years old when she filmed the movie. Yeah, Shannon Sossaman was great. But he didn't really blow up the way she should have. <laughs> I'm sorry. What movie was she in? Forty days and forty. Four days, four nights. Okay. Yep. Yeah. What's her name? Sharon Sossaman. Shannon S- S- should be Sossaman. <laughs> like S O S S Y M A N. I think it is. Shannon Sauce. When you see her, you're gonna be like, I remember her. Why? How do you spell the last name? Sauce. S O S. S-O-S. <laughs> supposed to sauce, yeah. Oh, Sossaman. <laughs> remember her? Man, she does not look familiar to me. Wow. <laughs> her whole filmography. <laughs> I see nothing with her. Yeah. If she wasn't in Slackers, I don't know who yes, she that's is. Her. <laughs> yep, that's her. Yep, that's her. Man. And I've seen 40 Days for She was the main, yeah, she was the main girl in, in that. Hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. I don't think it's I can pull that up. This is an educational, um, raunchy comedy show. Oh, she was in yeah, Sin- Sinister so 2. Raunchy knowledge than I had. Yeah, Sinister 2. That's right. Hmm. All right. learning a lot. I know. She, okay. was the, she was in the holiday. All right. Okay. All right. I got to follow this up then with a, a sophisticated title. You know, the, oh. this one isn't for everybody. Yeah. Not everybody's <laughs> cup of tea. It's very controversial. Just came out, I think, a year ago. Mm. Uh, but I really like this one. It was actually my, one of my top five of the year it came out, but everybody else kind of hated it. But that's okay. <laughs> we'll go with Babylon. Anybody seen oh, okay. Babylon? I love that movie. I love it. Babylon. Oh my gosh, such a great movie. Let's let's zoom in on this cover. That's a comedy. <laughs> I love the first hour of that movie for sure. It's like a dark comedy. It's yeah. I would compare it to like Wolf of Wall Street. If you think Wolf of right. Wall Street okay. comedy, it's along those okay. lines. But a big raunchy party at the beginning. I'm talking raunchy, just insane. Right. It, 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 you can't even describe golden showers happening like that yeah. level right like there. Like an orgy. Okay? A I mean, normal the movie, oh, yeah, this is orgy times yeah. 10. It's just, oh, oh it's the movie it's opens with like an elephant taking a crap on the camera, right? Like, oh, right. Right yeah, right on the camera <laughs> and a guy's head. It's oh, a normal yeah. Tuesday night for me, guys. <laughs> <Right on Tuesday. laughs> I love the cast of that movie, and I love the first hour. Oh, man, the sure. cast is so good. About Margot Robbie in here, um, Brad, Pitt. Brad Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt has some great scenes in there. That, that was like an Oscar movie, wasn't it? It got a couple of nominations for like production uh, costumes, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. it was a bit of a flop. It was a bit of a flop, but it was flop though. It was so it's so it's like basically if you took Wolf of Wall Street and Singing in the Rain, yeah, literally, and like morph them into one movie. That's that movie. Is oh, it a yeah. musical? No, no, it's, no but it's about the the transition of movies from silent to to, to yeah. talking, right. which is okay. the same thing as Singing in the Rain. Talkies. Um, but it takes it like from like how it probably really was back then in the twenties. Mm-hmm. So it's like very excessive drugs and mm-hmm. and craziness. Yeah. So yeah, Sound, it's, sounds good. It's yeah, like, well, it's well, well, the ending, but there's there's somebody that shows up, uh, yeah, in the movie that. <laughs> but so it, should we be kind of extended that movie out a bit long? Yeah. It better be Tom Selleck. <laughs> no, no, it's Spider Man. No, it's Spider Man. Man, such a good scene well, in there, Spider-Man. Nate. Yeah. Um, what was that? The one where they're doing the filming and the guy's like in the hot box or whatever. And oh my god, like, any guys? And they're like, man, stay in there, stay in there. He's like, man, I need to get out of here. And then he freaking like dies. Like, it's so hot. And the, and the DJ Byrne is just like, close the door. He, he, so basically they're filming a scene and they're they're just discovering sound, like how to use it. And so the camera has to sit in the booth because it makes too much noise. So mm, he they keep right. repeating the scene like Margot Robbie keeps screwing up. And uh-huh. he's like, I'm dying. And they're like, no, <laughs> right. stay in there. And then when they finally get it, they're all happy. And the, then the dude actually dies. The- yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That scene lasted way too long in that movie. I, 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 I love that scene. I love yeah. that it just dragged and kept oh going God. and kept going. Yeah, and I, I actually went to, the, went to the restroom and came back and the scene was still going. Like, like they were still in the scene. The scene's not oh, over yeah. yet. This is a long movie. It's close yeah. to it's it's like close three hours. Three hours, right? three hours yeah. Yeah. Like it didn't have to be that but that long of a movie. Is yeah. is Wolf of Wall Street better? I yes, love Wolf of Wall Street. So, yeah. yeah, Wolf of Wall Street's like a top, but this one is really good. Oh, and the ending, oh my gosh, like where they do the filmmaking. You know what I'm talking about, Nate. You, they you, go know, I do, you know why you like it? Because you love movies. And this yeah, movie is like yeah. a love letter. Love letter yeah, it is. Movies, exactly. But it's just filled with raunch and excess, pretty much. Yeah. Right. That, hey, that's where you get your history of filmmaking that movie with the raunchy comedy, psh, yeah. like perfect package. Oh, no. mm, never knew that. 
it's good, but it's funny in like a very crazy way, not like yeah. in traditional. Yeah, show. yeah. more of. dark comedy, I guess. Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that film. Yeah, and not enough people saw it, Nate. Like you said, just nobody, yeah. nobody was there. Yeah, I didn't see it. I thought it was it, it, the theater. Yeah. yeah, it was like one of those movies that came out around Christmas. So I thought it was like one of those award, you know, big right. huge movies. It was. It was an Oscar yeah. bait. It was kind of movie. Yeah. yeah. It was an Oscar bait kind of movie. That, that's what a lot of people thought. <laughs> and it didn't, it didn't made like nothing. Oh my gosh! It made barely anything. And the and the main actor is Bob Brad Pitt, right? Brad Pitt's in it. Yeah. Brad no, Pitt actually, Martin the main Martin. actor is the, the Spanish guy. I right, don't know. right, right, right. Like a, like a, like a, no, a no yeah. name. And then Margot Robbie, she's probably the next biggest role. And then Brad Pitt is like the they're they're both kind of the leads. But like Gene Smart is in there. Tobey Maguire is in there. Um, he's disgusting in that movie too, by the way. Oh god, <laughs> this scene oh, is crazy. It's uh, it's wild. I've, I've heard he is in real There's life. An alligator in there. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. I yeah, I've heard horror stories about him back in the day. Oh, yeah. he's terrifying in that movie though. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think of that movie because it is funny, but I, it just didn't cross my mind. How to pull something nobody else? So you guys were all pulling out these hidden gems. I'm like, I haven't seen these ones. Let me pull out something other people haven't <laughs> seen. There you go. <laughs> oh man, let's see who else is in here. Oh, caveman saying, "Hey, you want to watch this one? It's on Paramount. You got Paramount. Wow. So is Slackers, guys. Slackers on Paramount. Slackers on Prime. Oh, Prime bro. Bro. There you go. Double okay. feature tonight." You got Adding it to the queue. <laughs> Call in tomorrow. It's, it's, it's uh, movie. Elephant crapping on a dude's head, and Margot Robbie got to see this. I, I don't know if Huck, you would like this one because I know you're tougher on the dark comedy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But but he does love Wolf of Wall Street, though. Yeah. Okay, so he loves movies. Mm, I just feel yes. like people who really love movies yeah. should watch it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and Samara Weaving is in there. Her scenes are funny because she's yeah. like. The whole joke online, remember, like she looks like Margot Robbie, like they look the same. So they kind of play on that in the movie where they're like in this movie and she's like, they look similar. Um, but Margot's amazing in it. She's really oh, great. she's so good. Yeah. All right. Let's get into now. Oh, we, we got through the last one. We got through four of them. Yeah. Number five. Oh, All right. So, and then honorable mention. So stick around, audience. And if you're just joining in late, you have not yet uh, spanked that uh, like, make sure you do that. And if you're new, you got to spank the subscribe too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. How okay. are you going to finish it? All right, I'm going to end this one. This one is definitely the one that's like the least out of my movies. As far as least talked about. Um, it's the most recent, and it's actually on 4K. Um, but I think this came out in 2016. Um, isn't that is that when the Ghostbusters with the women came out 2016? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this came out because I saw them like uh, around the same time. Um, so this movie is it's the it's like one of the last of the raunchy comedies. I feel like after this, they kind of just didn't even make them anymore. Me and my brother saw this, so maybe that because my brother has this laugh that's like if he laughs, I laugh. So <laughs> he laughed so much that then I so I like it too now. But it's actually really funny. You got a lot of good people. You got Zac Efron. Ooh. You got Aubrey Plaza. Oh, uh, you sold Anna Kendrick, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Mike and Dave. Oh, right. need wedding that one, that one's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes, Mike and Dave need wedding oh, dates. That's a good What's one. a push? And pop? Dude, you had that too. Yeah, that's my last pick right here. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> so good. sorry. I tell love me what's movie. a push pop. <laughs> what's a push pop? <laughs> Pushing the pop. Pushing the pop. <laughs> I'll send you some links, <laughs> bro. When they're talking and that and they're like, like crying, they start doing like the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're talking about him. Um, I love it. Uh, Aubrey Plaza is disgusting. Like she's like filthy in this, and I love it. She's so mm -hmm. funny. Um, there's a very interesting sex scene with her and Adam Devine. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. done for laughs the way they're doing, but it's so funny. Um, the scene with their sister when Kumail Nanjani's giving her the massage, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> um, you know, their souls meet where the whole <sighs> that's <laughs> I, <laughs> I actually have a video coming out soon. And I I use a clip in this movie, and it's uh because I talk about Michelle Pfeiffer in my next video. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> it is the scene where he was all like, "This whole time I thought you were Michelle Pfeiffer from uh <laughs> from from Dangerous Minds, but you're yeah. just Michelle Pfeiffer from Scarface." Like, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> That's right. Oh man, even like Adam Devine, I know his your mileage may vary with him. I think he's hilarious in this. I love him. Uh, oh, I he's love so funny. Him too. Yeah. So and Zac Efron, I've always thought he's really funny. And he's more the straight guy, the straight man, not the straight guy, the straight man in this. You know what I mean? 
but he gets a lot of funny lines. Um, yeah, and Anna Kendrick really goes out there on this one. Like, it's a little mm-hmm. bit more edgier than what she's kind of done. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen Mike and David yeah. winning dates, I highly recommend it. Wildly yeah. inappropriate. Wildly <laughs> inappropriate deleted scene. 90 minutes. Uh, that's like a home movie right there. Even the uh, even the end credits, even the end credits when they're having like the the uh, outtakes are funny. Yes, and they even yeah, had to stop. Thing. Yeah, there's like the one scene where they had to stop. Audrey Plaza's like, "All right, no, no, that's too far." And she, oh, yeah. Fox doesn't like that. <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember when I went to see this. I went with my, like I said, I went with my brother. He's like, he's about nine years younger than me. Mm-hmm. So we go in there, and he's like, "I'm not gonna laugh at this movie. Watch, watch. I'm not gonna <laughs> laugh." And we sit down, and it's like maybe three minutes in, and he just starts laughing when uh, <laughs> when Adam Devine's like trying to sell the guy the 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 liquor, and he's like, "You want that good? That new new." You need that new, new, and the guy and my brother just starts laughing like crazy. And from then it was just downhill. It just left like the almost the whole entire movie. It's and, there's great. A, and there's a sex scene with no sex. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's got love, a little bit I of everything. This movie, yeah. It's got all the raunch. You got nudity. Mm-hmm. You got cursing. You got innuendo. You got everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. And it really a bunch of really funny people. Stephen Root is their dad. Um, yeah. <laughs> he's always funny. And like I said, Kumail Nanjani plays this like mm-hmm. mystical massage guy, uh, which is really <laughs> funny. So yeah, it's good stuff. All right, Steve. Well, so I guess this is the last one. That, uh, so there's another one that ruined me, uh, but this is a uh, from 1980 from Harold Ramis. And I'm not sure people even like this movie anymore, but it's, it's Caddyshack. Oh. <laughs> Wacky movie. Uh, it's got mm-hmm. Chevy Chase. So a lot of people that are that are that died now. <laughs> it's gonna run to build Ryan Ginger build Bill Murray. Yeah. It's got the whole cast here. That's a this is a crazy, like there's a lot of nudity in this movie. It's a it's a like what I said, nineteen eighty. So it's Harold Ramis was part of uh, Animal House. He one of the one of the writers yeah. from Animal House. He did you know, directed vacation. And it's a, it's got this gopher that's a that's tearing up a golf course and Bill Murray's trying to chase after the gopher and it's a <laughs> Hey, National Lampoon. Okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah it's all the National Lampoons guys. At the if you know Animal House and Vacation and, and the, the whole the whole stuff they did, you know that's a. I think it's a classic uh, comedy that I do all found, foundational comedy. So I'm glad you guys did. You all did like the, some of the newer stuff because this is like found foundational kind of stuff that that, that I, I always love this movie. Uh, like I said, a lot of nudity and that. So it's my number one. Isn't that getting a 4K? I feel like a 4K Might was be. rumored on that one. Um, yeah, could be. But it's Rodney a, Dangerfield, oh my gosh, yeah. great comedian, oh, such good movies. It's He's labeled a rated but... 4K. Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, <laughs> he gets no respect. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he says that the snobs against the slobs, and yeah, mm-hmm. Chevy Chase is uh, really great in this movie, and and uh, Bill Murray, Bill Murray is just uh, chasing this uh, the gopher throughout the movie, and it's it's getting the best of him. Yeah. Yeah, oh. the it's all right. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is, is it Kenny Loggins? Kenny yeah. Loggins, yeah. How's the sequel on that one? I the sequel's it's horrible. horrible. <laughs> I heard it's, it's terrible. It's like Caddyshack, it's terrible. Terrible. Caddyshack 2 is really bad. Man, can they not do sequels to raunchy comedies? What's going on, okay? They, they can. can't. It's called uh, besides American, American Pie. Pie. <laughs> the rest is, uh, <laughs> nah. yeah. They can't. It's right here in this box full well, of <laughs> a collection of great. Funny yeah, comedies like sequels. For man. some reason, like when it comes to raunchy comedies, their their formula was there were big hits in theaters. So their next ones were like, let's make them go straight to Blockbuster. Let's just throw, video. Yeah, let's just throw like you know, like someone holding up panties on there and say unrated and national lampoons. And oh my like, god, oh, national lampoons. That's you know. yep, exactly. Someone I remember when they did a American Pie, mm-hmm. Book of Love, American mm-hmm. Pie, Naked Mile, American yeah. Pie, Ping Pong, yeah. Tournament and, or and, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, so I did some research on that, and the reason why you saw National Lampoons on everything back then is they were they were selling the not selling it, but they were like uh, licensing. Yeah, they're licensing out the name just so anyone I could have bought it. I don't know how yeah. much. Obviously, it wasn't that much money, but. You know, <laughs> and there we go. We I could have been like, you know, you know Lampoon movie. There National go. Lampoons uh presents, you know, Dude Loves Movies on YouTube, you know. Totally be selling out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm, it's gonna be with some panties. Van Wa- <laughs> Van Wilder, you know that, that, that's yeah, one. Well, that's national Lampoon. Van, Van Wilder was probably like the last like National Lampoon's good one. I, I don't, and I don't think it was National Lampoon's. I think they were the ones that had the thing. They licensed it. it. Yeah, licensed it. But that's. But it was one of the last movies that was like at least a real movie that came out in theaters that people watched mm-hmm. that had the name. Mm-hmm. Got to see. I remember Reynolds. seeing those at. I remember seeing those at Circuit City too. All the yeah, time. they were. Yeah, the, you saw Van Wilder, not Van Wilder. <laughs> you saw Gold National Lampoon's on everything. Yeah, National Lampoon Gold Diggers, National Lampoon School School Days, Dorm Days. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dorm Days. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, maybe School Days. It's one of those. <laughs> oh, no, Dorm Days is right. Dorm, okay, and then there's like days. Dorm Days yeah. at Sea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mentioned Senior Trip. I remember yes, that one. Yeah. Adam and Eve with Emmanuel Trickery, Ch- whatever yeah. her name was. Yeah. She was in there. Yeah. yeah. There's so many. <laughs> I had at least four when I was 17. I don't remember which one yeah. they were, but I had them. <laughs> it said unrated, so I bought them. Yeah. I have dorm days too. Or I've dorm I have one of them. There was still, the dorm they're, days too. They're still they're still at the dorm, but I know that there is one that they go to see. Yeah. Because even that, I was like, I was like, I was like, I can't do that. I, <laughs> That's enough. I know I said keep making them till they go to the ground, but <laughs> gotta stop at some point. Yeah. Brian is uh saying senior trip is a good one. Oh, okay. I'd probably watch them now and think they're hilarious, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, guys, if you see dude who loves movie or you know, or uh, you know, if you see uh, National Lampoons presents dude who loves movies on YouTube, you know <laughs> you know <laughs> <I> could... <laughs> you shelled out a couple of bucks for that. Yeah. <laughs> It's five thousand dollars. I saved up. I saved up five thousand dollars to put the name on my. <laughs> Why are the franchise uh, taking over? God, I just I just start making movies like just with me added in them. It's like it was day, so two days to a C. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, days. <laughs> hey, you're surprised. But, I mean, I tell you, that would sell a sell a good amount. That would make a profit for you for sure. National Lampoons presents uh, Mike and Dude need wedding dates. There you go. Yeah. Uh, see, you like fairy yeah. movies. Yeah. yeah. Hey, That's yeah. Funny. Bring back the spoof comedies. You got to uh, do it, man. Uh, we, I think we need it now. It's time for those to return. I think people kind of laugh again, but they don't laugh as much as you. Yeah, I really think, really think the there. I really think the new Naked Gun. There's something about yeah. it that's going to work with less. Is it Liam Neeson going to be? Liam Neeson, God. yeah, yeah. Less, with Liam Neeson. It's going to work. I've heard that, 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 that he's rumored. Yeah. Is he rumored? Is he official? I, I, I don't know. But, you know, if I see a rumor, I think it's true. So he can do comedy. He's very straight. You know. Straight face, but it is, he's really funny though. Yeah, he is funny. Kind of subtle. That's why it'll work. Leslie Nielsen yeah. was straight Leslie Nielsen was very movies. subtle. Yeah. yeah, he was. And if you guys don't believe me, look him up on a show called Life's Too Short. Yeah, funny. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's him and Ricky Gervais. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna check this out. <laughs> and yeah, we got it, was, it was an HBO show, but he was on one episode and it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Brian saying, I'm so down for a National Lampoon present stream. <laughs> hey, now you got the idea out there, Brian. So you never know. You never know. Hey, but if you check out memberships, you get a high tier membership, sign up for that. I'll make it happen. Make it happen <laughs> real quick for you. You'll see it. You'll see it in like two weeks. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'm pulling dorm days too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you get a membership, you get a whole review on that one. Thing, <laughs> oh, man. Just for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are on Tiana now. Yes. All right. So we did role models. Mm-hmm. We did two half naked ladies. Mm-hmm. We did a porno. <laughs> Man, where are we going next? I feel like this is escalating. We're all the way over the top. Election. You gotta go over the top now. I mean, it doesn't really go over the top, but it's a great movie. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, and now we're gonna do a slut. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. I love this movie. I Man, I, I, I don't remember too. being raunchy comedy though for some reason. I don't know why. I've what? Being like... <laughs> I think it's because it's PG thirteen. It is PG. Is it PG? No. Yes. Yeah. I think it's the first time I've seen I'd ever seen Emma Stone though. I believe in the movie. But it's like a version of the Scarlet Letter. That's kind of yeah. Oh, okay. risky. That's, that's, that's why it's yeah. more. Yeah. Is, is Amanda Bynes in it? It's like yes. her last movie, right? Yeah, yes. she's in it. Legend. She's like 
the like villain girl, like the mean girl. Yeah, yeah. I remember she's like prim and proper. She's like yeah. Christian, and she like judges her. And Stanley Tucci's the greatest father. <laughs> in that yes, movie. He's yes. so yeah. funny. <laughs> when the when the black kid is like, I'm adopted, and or he knows he's like, I know I'm adopted, and Stanley Tucci's like, How did you find out? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch I that. Like, I saw it once in theaters. I like the yeah, I saw it there. I like yeah. the bed scene when she like because she gets paid for money, like mm-hmm. paid to have sex, mm-hmm. but not yeah. really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because she's like jumping on the bed. I remember. Yeah, that, she's yeah. jumping on yeah. the bed, and she's like, "Oh yeah." I get paid to, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm get, get paid to jump on the bed. The kid, the yeah. kid is like, "Yeah, what's that <laughs> smell?" And she's like, <laughs> "Don't like." Don't, don't he's like, "What?" <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. I love that movie. It's great. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Be smirched. I remember good, she said man. that in the in a bobby. Yeah. You know, be smirched. Yeah. I was like, be smirched. What the hell's that? And then uh, what? Thomas Hayden Church plays the teacher. Yeah, I love that. That's he's like unimpressed. Uh, that because this was like early on with like social media. And he's like, this guy got a diet coke. He's like, <laughs> like people posting stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, Lisa Kudrow is the guidance counselor. Right. Uh, that movie's yeah. that movie's funny. And for PG thirteen, yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's the, the premise is risque. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. There's no like you know nudity or anything like that, but it's still raunchy. It's, it's on the thumbnail. Has, yeah, yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emma Stone, you can see you can see her talent there. I mean, even in a movie, oh, she yeah. can oh, exactly. see like something that. else. I don't remember <laughs> that. Yeah. You get to see her talent. Oh, <laughs> you can see all her talent. Yeah. So she started off with that and then got up to four things. Yeah, four things where she showed all her talent. That's, that's what happened. Did you guys see her in um House Bunny? Yeah. Did you oh, you yeah, guys yeah. see House mm-hmm. Bunny? Yeah. I like House, House Bunny. Bunny. House, Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. House Bunny is the only movie I saw twice in the same day. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay. You're like, yeah. so much, you just went back again and yeah. uh, did, you, did, did you stay in the theater and just let it like play again? <laughs> no, I was I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna hide I was, in the theater and <laughs> no, I, I was young and it may have been like I had two dates kind of thing. Oh, that's oh. gangster. So I was the same yeah. movie. <laughs> Tell us more. I, I, I am not proud of it, but it was like it was like the sec, it was like you know, I was really young. You know, yeah. I was like, I was really young. I was really young. It was like two months ago. <laughs> Did you tell the second one that this was your first time watching it? I'm really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen yeah, this. Dude, you didn't yeah. even change the movie. And like you're no. like, no, nah, let's stick with the same one. Nah, it was yeah. the winner on the first try. The <laughs> same theater is just eight hours apart. So I'm sure the work wow. was probably like oh, eight hours movie. apart. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was eight hours apart. <laughs> okay. You you were decent about it then. You let some time. So you had a morning date and, and uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Evening. <laughs> yeah, it was like a noon date and then yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and, and I honestly think it was the third time I saw it because I saw it the first time with my sister. I think. So. so big fan, big yeah. fan of the house bunny, huge fan. Yeah, I can fan. only think of like maybe three or four movies I've seen twice and then like the, the same day. Uh, the Departed's one. Um, I can think of zero. I've never, you know, yeah. I've never <laughs> seen a movie many. <laughs> not in the same day. No, really, right. movie that's that great, but yeah. I've seen was, a movie a day apart, but never the same day. I was trying to miss Doubtfire and go to different movies. <laughs> that's what I should have done. I should have tried to miss. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, go to the different theater, <laughs> <laughs> guys. The story. I hope. Hopefully, no one, nobody sees this live stream. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be getting some angry calls I, later. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like I said, I was very, very young two weeks ago. So. Oh, uh, by the way, too though, Easy A, uh, if I remember correctly, directed by Will Gluck, right? I think so. Will Gluck, and he just did Anyone But You with Sydney oh, Sweeney. And- yeah, yeah, Anyone But You is really good. Oh, by yeah. the way. I like that. And, so is, he he, he directed the movie. That one's that one's rated R. Yeah, is Anyone it? But okay. You is rated R. Yeah, that one's raunchy. Um, okay. but but he directed a movie that I really like. Uh, it was before Easy A. It's called Fired Up. Have you guys ever seen Fired Up? It was by the I cheerleaders. I love yeah, it. the two guys <laughs> who go to become cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah. That movie, it's stupid, but it oh, is so funny to me. <laughs> that is um, an unrated one. Yeah, that's unrated. Oh, I, I don't have it. If I would have had, I'm gonna put it to my honorable mentions here. Hold on, let me just type it. <laughs> Fired Up. Uh, the yeah, I, I like scene. him. He makes some good movies. <laughs> Yeah, Nightcrawler is another movie I saw twice in one day with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, a really a disturbing movie. movie. I saw it once by myself, and then I was on a date that night. And it's, I just saw, saw a straight movie, and she said, let's go see it again. I'm going quite, to quite the date movie, Nightcrawler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fiona, I need you to verify this comment. Is this true? 
We are all forgetting that USPG is rated R in Canada. <laughs> no, okay. that's not true. Okay, man, why are you saying this then? What's, what's R out. in Canada? Is it? <laughs> is it NC 17 or is it X? Don't you guys have like numbers? It's like 15 18 or, or something. 17. Um, I think yeah, you got some like bumper that. stickers all over. Yeah, <laughs> the stickers yeah, in the front. Yeah. The stop a, signs. 18. A, and there, and then it says it's, it says like the title in French too. 13. Doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It yeah. always has the title in French. Yeah, that bothers people. It doesn't really bother me though. Oh, because you grew up. Well, it's there. your life. You're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every day. Life. Life. <laughs> yeah. In England, everything's got the stickers on it. And, and... I have one movie oh like gosh. that. Uh, this steelbook of a history of violence. And it's also Un History de Violence. <laughs> yeah. History. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't see it good. But oh, anyway, there's two titles. One's here and one's here. But yeah, it's a. Uh, Oh, look, it's on the front. I'm sorry, Mike. Go back. Look, it's on the front. Is it right there really small? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got a, well, a, a it's small. Yeah, at least it's tiny. Prince Canadian. And... This is Alliance. <laughs> Alliance. That's a Canadian thing, right? Alliance. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of movies come out from them. Like, like, I think they're a distributor from Canada. Alliance, I think he said. Like, yeah. A with an A. Oh, yeah. Alliance. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, dude. What do you got to finish us off? You know what? I'm going to take you back to the early 2000s. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're going to have to get in time machines for this one. It actually might be 99, but it was uh, this was a pretty big movie when it came out, and it's Road Trip. Yeah, with Tom Tom Green. Tom Green was on fire back then, right? And I I just, I always, you know, Austin, Austin, Massachusetts. I always think about that. So basically, this guy he hooks up with this girl. And then he sends the VHS to his girlfriend. So they have to, <laughs> it's a road road trip movie. So they have to go and try to stop it from getting to her in the mail. Mm-hmm. Again, <laughs> another movie that like, you can't have the main character doing that, you know? And I understand, but yeah, it's a good movie. A lot of, uh, Fred Ward is in it. He plays the dad. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> mad. I always <laughs> think about that. <laughs> Breck and Meyer. Breck Breck and Meyer, Meyer yeah. <laughs> Amy Smart. Amy Smart. Yeah, she he plays the is she no he's not the love interest the blonde the, one yeah yeah she's the, he's the one who makes yeah okay yeah i, I haven't seen that in forever but it's a good movie isn't yeah. the dj qual i think dj qualls is in that dj too. squalls yeah yeah, yeah i like I, yeah. yeah road trip is good yeah, yeah. i had sex it's last fun. night with yeah. a girl <laughs> <laughs> and there's a scene where they dance it's tricky yeah it's a good movie yeah. and then there's like an a, a old guy smoking pot and he looks at the dog and the dog starts talking to him <laughs> yep and you know yeah. what it has? An unrated version. It does. It has an unrated. Mm-hmm. And it's unrated with an eight because it's uh-huh. a little license yeah. plate. They're on a road yeah. trip. <laughs> and uh oh it's Sean William Scott. I totally forgot about he, yeah. he was in there. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, they have like a little bus dancing yeah. on the bus to I think Twisted Sister. Yeah. <laughs> and when Tom Tom Green wants is trying to feed the he wants the to snake. Feed... <laughs> He's like stuck on his hands and throwing <laughs> Tom, oh god, Tom Green, the stuff he did back then, man. Like I, Freddie got fingered, and I just that <laughs> that movie. I feel like no one's ever gonna see that movie again. Isn't that good in a Bluetooth treatment now? <laughs> no, no, no. I think that was a joke because oh, they said, they, yeah, oh, I said Criterion. Man. Criterion was going to release Freddy Got Finger. Oh, on oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah, excited was for that. I'm like, oh, but man. you know what? I feel like that would have fit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I like, just like, that. Daddy, would you like some sausages? Daddy, like <laughs> oh my some sausages? god, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I'm the backwards man, the backwards man. I can walk back fast you can look at my I used to watch the, the Tom Green show all the time on MTV. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like... there's some like nasties. Like, remember the girl that's giving birth and he has the yeah. baby, it's still on the umbilical cord, and he's swinging it around. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. the blood <laughs> slapping the walls. It's it is a bad movie, man. <laughs> But yeah. man, did I love it when I was a kid. I've not seen it since I was a kid, but Mike, have you seen it? It's be right up your alley. Oh, when I was young, super young. I only remember the sausage <laughs> scene. That's the only thing I remember. That he's like <laughs> jacking off the elephant. <laughs> it's it's a yeah, guys. That is a raunchy comedy. Ten percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So you I'm know it has that. That. <laughs> it's gold. Yep. 
All right, man. I don't know how to follow all that up. You guys did a good <laughs> job. You guys like blew through my whole pile too. So <laughs> we're definitely into uh, honorable mentions here. But I guess we'll finish this with a with a fifth one. We will go with let's go with Thunder Buddies for Life with Ted. Here you go. Yeah, you gotta have some Ted Love, more modern movie. You know, Marky Mark in here with his good buddy. Uh, but Ted, yeah, I think Ted, this is a really fun one. Every time I rewatch it, I'm like, you know, that's a pretty good one. I just love the story of how Ted, like, you know, gets wished into existence. Yeah. And then he's like scaring the crap out of everybody. Like, the mom's like, what the heck's going on? Like, they're like, get the knife, get the knife, you know? Yep. Uh, and then eventually the mom's like, oh, it's like a baby Jesus miracle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> little Christmas miracle right there. So it's got Flash Gordon uh, in it. Uh, it uh, oh, Flash Gordon <laughs> scenes is great. Oh, <laughs> well, they say Wicked a lot. It's a, it's a Boston thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally a Boston movie. I hear uh, the TV Mila show is really here. good. Mm-hmm. The TV show. Oh really yeah, I heard good thing. things about that yeah. one. I haven't seen it mm-hmm. yet. I heard it's super super funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They show it's doc- really good. I, I heard they show a Doctor Giggles poster in there, so I was like, I'm I'm down. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I guess. Peacock, yeah, you gotta see it. Yep. Man, the funniest scene in Ted, uh, the oh, the grocery store scene when Ted oh sees the God. nice lady over yes. there and he's just doing all those things, yep. and then when he gets the, the lotion at that, and it's like, okay, that's where we draw the lines too far, <laughs> too far, right there. <laughs> oh, and then how he's, <laughs> he's mouthing off to the boss, right? And then he's always yes. getting promotions, <laughs> <laughs> like I did your wife with a parsnip last week or something. Oh, yeah, it was a parsnip. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, yeah, and then it's got a Liam Neeson doing a little bit of comedy there. About right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he, there you go. There's his. That was his his uh, audition for. There you go. <laughs> the dad from Seventh Heaven. <laughs> oh yeah, I think he's. I think he's. Canceled. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He uh, he's, he, he, he's not in the second one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, the second one was a, a disappointment. I like the first one better though because yeah. I like Mila Kunis as well. Oh, the second one they changed to Amanda Seyfried, and she's okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the first second one, one wasn't as good. Yeah, no, it's okay. I did laugh. Yeah. The first one is good. not like the first one, and the first one's a nice story too. I mean, that's truly like a alternative Christmas title right there. Just yeah. ends so nicely. They all come back <laughs> together, one happy family. You know, I mean, what's his name as a bad guy? He is a great actor. I love oh, him. he's so I, creepy in the movie. Oh my god, uh, the the guy from Friends. I can't think oh. of his name. Giovanni Rivera. Yeah, Giovanni Ribisi. Ribisi, yeah. When he's, he's dancing there. when he's drinking the, the, the oh ice cream or whatever. It's so gross. I love it. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that scene is funny. Yeah, that movie gets dark in some moments with it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Good old Ted. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. All right. So, well, we are now into honorable mentions right here. So we'll just run through our piles pretty quickly. And then also, because, you know, we're coming up on time here. Also mention where people can find you and all that great stuff. Everybody's link is in the description below, of course. So show them some love. Go subscribe to their channels. Not only that, watch the content. The most important part, right? Yes. All right, Nate. Uh, All right. Where can people find you? And then what are your honorable mentions? Yeah, you guys can find me over on uh, here on YouTube, Geeks and Flicks. You see it there in my in, in my name, uh, Geeks and Flicks. I do uh, out of the theater reviews of new movie releases every single Friday. They go up. Um, and my partner, Alex, he's now just <clears throat> getting back into the swing of doing some videos as well. So he's going to have a review of Ghostbusters coming up soon. We also do the uh, uh, live show every other Sunday. Uh, so we were supposed to do one this Sunday, but it's Easter. So I don't know if we're going to be doing one. But every other week, Sunday night, 9 p.m., we do a live show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and last place is if you like podcasts, let's say, uh, and and do this for you. We're now on YouTube with the podcast. Oh, you okay. last time, yeah. yeah. We have a, a Action Movie Guys podcast. That's the hmm. name of the podcast. It has a YouTube channel, but you can also get on Spotify, Apple. That's strictly action movies only. Oh, nice. Um, so that's where you can find me there. Cool. Striking Distance. I ha- it's on there. Dragon Distance is up. So I really, I really wanted you to pull that as your favorite uh, Russian comedy. comedy. Yeah, I thought about it. There's, there's, there's nudity in it. I think if I remember correctly, that totally counted. <laughs> counted. <That's right. laughs> All right. So as far as honorable mentions, I had a few. I'm, I'm there's one movie, and I'll do, say it last. I'm surprised no one pulled. Uh, but oh, yeah. I had role models as well. But Tiana. Tiana pulled it. <laughs> Great movie. Hot Tub Time Machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I had that one as well. Um, one of my favorite movies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. 
Oh, I absolutely love one. this movie. Yeah. Um, really, any again, any Apatow thing counts. Uh, but uh, Harold and Kumar, the trilogy, I love all three, even the Christmas one. But White Castle and Escape from Guantanamo Bay, hilarious. Uh, fired up since I added it, since we talked about it. Hilarious. <laughs> Wanderlust, Paul Rudd, mm-hmm. Jennifer Aniston, when they live in the commune. Really good. But the movie that, and, and the only reason I didn't pull it is because it's, I have binders with Blu-rays because I ran out of space, so I didn't have a case. I didn't want to pull out a binder. But there's something about Mary, oh, yeah. one of the greatest raunchy oh. comedies in yeah. the history of cinema. And I was hoping someone pulled it, but I at least I get to say it. So one, I, I of, my did, favorites, yeah. one of the best. Yeah. yeah. It was a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Steve. Where can people find you in your? Oh, so, yeah. I'd say I'm under uh, on YouTube, uh, Excelsior Movie Reviews. Uh, I'm on the uh, Instagram under the same name. A lot of people follow me on that, and I, I love following everybody on on Instagram for sure. Uh, I'm on a you know, uh, you can find me on Letterbox under the same name, uh, Excelsior Movie Reviews. But uh, but as far as my titles, uh, so like a lot of my movies were older, and, and so I'm glad that I that all of you did like the newer movies because I it didn't interfere with anything that I was doing. And so I did all the older. But uh, so Animal House, National Lampoons, mm-hmm. yep. of course, uh, you've got you know, clerk, Clerks, the original Clerks, so, which is in here, uh, it's on the bottom, the three. And of course, Fast Times, Rosemont High. Oh, I love it. Classic movie, a- Amy Heckerling, it's a female director written by uh, Cameron Crowe. Uh, of course, Private Parts with uh, Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> they have a raunchy scene with the porn star and then uh, uh, 16 Candles. Um. That's all I do. I mean, weird science. This is weird that they consider this to be mm-hmm. raunchy because it's it's PG thirteen. But this yeah. is Kelly Le, Kelly LeBrock was really hot back then. Kelly LeBrock the makes her hotness <laughs> makes yeah. it raunchy. Yeah, yeah, I never thought about John Hughes it, but... movies being raunchy comedies, but yeah, those can get a little raunchy. There's a giant yeah. turd monster in it too. I mean, right. that's <laughs> that's so packs it. Yeah, Art. <laughs> that's all. All right, Tiana, where can people find you? All right, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Tiana Loves Movies, and you can also find me on YouTube, the same thing. <laughs> um, some of my um, honorable mentions, um, Sex Drive. Woo. Oh, that's a good one. I love, that love Sex Drive. Um, another one, I don't know if you guys have heard of it before, uh, Soul Plane. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I yeah, that. <laughs> that's a good one. I watched that when I was... That's like, like an early Kevin movie. Hart. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then another one that I recently watched last month was called Stuck on You. Yeah. That was yeah. really good, too. And I'll show this because it's a butt. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, I can't see that. It. I can't see. Let's. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, it's kind of bright. Stuck uh, on you. Okay. Wait, okay, wait. Let me see. Can you see? That's there the right? Oh, yep. We, we <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the old Stuck one. on you. Well, yeah, you know, I, I feel like I had this conversation with somebody before. Not the Fairly Brothers. It's a, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I thought it was yeah. uh, Matt Damon and yeah, Greg Kinnear. Greg Kinnear one. <laughs> not a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> that one's not great, but oh, I do like <laughs> it a lot. Fairly Brothers. Uh, they've got so many great movies, and that one's me, myself, and Irene. That's another. Yeah, I mean, with the great movie. Oh, yeah. That one's good. There's something about marrying and um, mm-hmm. yeah, Kingpin. Obviously, Dumb and Dumber. You know, the best. Good. Dumb and Dumber is the best. <laughs> All right, dude. Where can people yeah. find you? My name is Cody from Doodoo Loves Movies. Uh, it's soon to be uh, National Lampoons Presents Doodoo Loves Movies on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to type that all in to I'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, Doodoo Loves Movies, one word on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, come out and hang out. I'm on the road to 1K. I'm almost there. Got oh. about 40 left, I think. 41. Congratulations. Hey, like audience, that. let's get dude to 1K tonight. Make it happen. Yes. I want it tonight. <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Don't wait here until you get something. <laughs> and so uh, I do want to bring up uh, this movie, I think, is the last true raunchy comedy, and it stars all kids. It's on the thumbnail. It's Good Boys. Oh, yeah. That, I thought that movie was yeah. hilarious. And it that just, was funny. Like, yeah. Nobody really talks about it and it went nowhere. And that's when I that's when you were like, okay. We are not <laughs> not ready for, <laughs> for, yeah. for yeah. We don't want these comedies right now. Like right now, people think Marvel is their comedy. You know, like that's where they get their comedies from. Thor, I mean, Love and Thunder. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's even uh, you Deadpool. know Seth, Seth Rogen said that they're like they're not going to give us money to make these comedies. They're going to throw it into a, a you know a Marvel franchise. Movie. Yeah, yeah. A- another one I really like is um, You Mean to Pre. Oh, that's yeah. like, oh, oh wow. underrated. Underrated. Yeah. Absolutely love that movie, and uh, the girl next door. 
Ooh, uh, underrated as well. Mm-hmm. I like that one as well. And uh, I wanted to say, I totally forgot what it was. It was, uh, oh man, it came out like during the pandemic. It was like a rated R movie. It was like um, about the two gay guys. I forgot what it was called. Um, I know what you're bros? talking about. <laughs> bros, bros, yeah. Bros. bros, yeah. That oh, kind of yeah. came, right. came out and went away. And I remember that they were they were kind of banking, like the studios were kind of banking on that movie. They're like, okay, if this does well, then we're going to bring back the rated R raunchy comedies. But it was just like bad timing and it just kind of fizzled out. So they it was kind good, of, though. yeah, I, 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 I wanted to see it. But I know that they have a raunchy comedy coming out. It's a cartoon about dogs. It's about a dog who's like, he's spending his last days with his balls because they're yeah. going to get uh, <laughs> I heard about that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, a dog it, and his balls. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but like, the poster's like this dog, and you see, it's like, you can see his ball. It's weird. <laughs> but it's probably going to be funny, but also hopefully that brings it back. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're not ready for raunchy comedies. <laughs> Dude, where's my car? Yeah. Oh, love. Mm-hmm. yeah I love that's... the girl next door. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's a good one. That has a little more serious parts, like risky business a little bit, you know, yeah. like, it's like serious and funny. Yeah. There's like good luck. Chuck. Remember oh, that? that's oh, yeah. what? Dane, yeah. When they're trying to make Dane cook a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do, I do want to, one of my favorite comedies in my, it's probably my favorite spoof movie. Uh, I think I like it better than scary movie, but it's going to be not another teen movie. Yeah. Oh, hilarious. That, is, that, that is, that is my favorite Chris Evans movie. Yeah. Yeah. The banana yeah. split. Yeah. The banana split. yeah. <laughs> Great oh, movie. Man. And that's all Good I got to say about it. <laughs> All right, and then you guys know me out there, Mega Mike the Movie Man. Um, if you have not yet sub, once again, making the push to 2K. And as you think, if you should give me another sub or not, we got a little tradition here with Nate on the you know, I always got to do this. Help me get one more. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Help me get one more. One more. Out there. That's all you have to do. And, of course, help everybody get one more out there as well. Uh, yes, but let's go through these honorable mentions. We got Book Smart, which I think is very underrated. Ooh, a lot of people yeah. that love this Book one. Smart. To me, Funny. yeah, I thought it was a good one. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't believe nobody mentioned Bridesmaids. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. This one's very popular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Project X. Oh, gosh. Wild Party. Oh, my again. God. I have a friend who cried at that movie. <laughs> Not from laughing. Like, cried from... She felt so bad when they dropped a car in the, in the pool. pool and she started oh, crying. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> She's like, his dad, he, he's going to die. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then we already said the Wolf of Wall Street, of course. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Classic. And then, this one isn't that great, but if you haven't seen it, nobody's fool if you need another one to watch. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. That's pretty. What's the one with her and the other? Tiffany had a uh, girl's trip. I thought girl's trip. Was really yeah. Yeah. Oh, girl's trip's fun. <laughs> what about 40-year-old virgin? Nobody mentioned that oh, one. Oh, I love it. Oh, Apatow. Knocked oh, yeah. up 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> Apatow is, is up there. This is 40. Uh, yeah. Forgetting I Sarah Marshall, like I said. Yeah. any of Anything he touched, I loved. In that little time frame. There it is, oh. National Imp. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Taking it back. Oh, man. All right. Well, that's it from us. Unless, dude, you got any last words of wisdom for the audience? Nope. Just uh, subscribe to uh, National Lampoons Presents Dude. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, have a good night, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye buddy. Thank you.